Can I be? Oh, can I be the golf girl? No, Google you can't be fire. Gwen or whatever the hell her name was. God damn I love it. how you instantly caught on to that, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The round started. Oh, All right. Okay, well, well I'm. I already started my stream. I'm so ready to go. I. What about you, buddy? I'm ready to go, camp man. <laughs> Did I just call you camp? I did. Okay. All right. I gotta. I just gotta clarify here. The reason I'm doing this voice, I put it in the mission command, but it's because I'm doing a total drama island theme stream after this, so I'm using Friday night fights to get into character. And I <laughs> literally just spent the entirety of yesterday Sending listening to Chris's voice on loop, now. so I think I got it Ooh, correct. Okay. Give me a or at least my, uh... to the best of my ability. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Iron Someone... tuned yet, but it's just the best I can do without a proper voice coach. He wouldn't, he wouldn't let me be the the golf girl, and I think that's. <laughs> <laughs> Dream, if you wanted to do that, you'd probably need a pair of scissors and a makeup and wardrobe change. But anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> I can be whatever I want to be. I mean, in 2024, you're correct, but not in my park. But regardless, okay, now I'm okay, trying okay, to find... Okay. Hi! Wait, what? Your name's Chris, isn't it? <laughs> Chris, yeah. Hi, Chris! I'm I'm not part of the show. I'm just the guy who... I'm the You're one of the interns I fling off with of a damn yeah. catapult just to prove yeah. a point. I literally Hi, pay Chris. you peanuts. He does. He does. That's all I get. All I get is peanuts. That's Hi, all guys. you freaking deserve. Hi, Wait, Chris. I can cuss okay. on this show. It's all you fucking deserve. <laughs> Okay, all right. Sorry for the cussing there, kids. We're going to get straight into this. Mr. Chris, can you please tell us You know, the lawyers said uh, we're not allowed to say this is technically a kid's show because then the kids will get the wrong idea. And, uh, well, I got to keep them happy. Otherwise, they won't shell out the million buckaroos for the finale. Right, but sorry, anyway. Ignore him. He hasn't had his meds today. Anyway, I'm Intern Dream. Oh, that's I actually a really a great suggestion. Name. No, no, no. We can have a button later like bro speak, but we can make it Chris speak for a minute. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, but you're no Leroy, the thing is with this is now you're not you're not gonna be able to break out of this. <laughs> you you're not gonna be able to go back to normal Leroy voice now. You've been doing it for too long. Now, the whole point of this stream is to You've do it for the it. entire okay. thing. Then, I'm not oh. no, I can switch off easily. I haven't done it enough yet, but oh, I'm okay. trying to maintain the voice so I can just okay. seamlessly start my next stream because I'm not covering round three today. I'm only covering rounds one and two to basically keep this voice going but we'll talk about okay. that in a second let me just let's go through the mission yeah, details no, no, and then i'll yeah. remind everyone why i'm speaking like this hello everyone i'm the intern that he said he froze off of buildings um <laughs> so South camp counselor North chris North. i've watched the show in years <laughs> camp, camp counselor chris can you tell us what this first camp event is all right, viewers, so here's how the campers are going to be playing today. We got some on the screaming blue side, and we got some on the killer red side. The killer red side is currently going to be on offense in this one life scenario. It's a very simple game mode. If you get shot to death, you're out. Now, for the sake of the lawyers, I got to say that they're technically not dead, and you'll see them in the next round if they stick around. Uh, but this does look a little realistic to someone actually getting shot, but it's just to remind you all this is a video game. It's not real life. All right, hold on. I'm just reading over the text the lawyer sent me to make sure that we're good. All right, totally. Um, that's why we tried to render in AI graphics to make sure that uh, it's <laughs> believable. Um, if you see that the people change, even though they have the same names, I assure you they're the same person. And if you see my uh, friend Chef down there indiscriminately eliminating people, um, it's part of the show. Anyway, let's go over these details here that my lawyer gave me. Blue, uh, Screaming Blue 4 is going to be on. Actually, we haven't even put our prediction up. Where's my damn side bet? How am I like supposed to rack those over? in? Nah, F that. I got it. But go ahead. Okay. You take over. All right. Okay. So, uh, camp campers. Oh god. Campers, so today it will be a blue four versus up four. Defend the terminal, defend sector two. Blue four on defense, up four on attack. As for our briefing, the mission details are view distance of a thousand meters, fortify points of a hundred, a fortify color of green, can you believe it? And a time limit of 50 minutes. Wait, no, green is the normal one. I got it ripped. I haven't been here in so long. 
as for the background, the Americans have <laughs> the Americans have decided to make their stand at the crest of the ridge and protect their cam su supply lines. Can they hold off advancing the advancing Iranians? Only time will tell. Now, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up! Someone just commented with like something happy to say. Dream was Cocom. No, excuse me, just commenting. I can't let you steal the spotlight, Dream. Everyone knows that I'm the main character here. Anyway, you get that in. Continue because I don't feel like doing work right now. Okay, but I must say, to make a uh, quick aside, Iranians, that's not real in this. In this, um, this is a fa fun, fr fr friendly, not family friendly, but friendly. Are you implying uh, that real. I'm being lazy and taking actual war footage from a drone and passing off as a video game? For the well, sake of the lawyers, I have to say that's an incorrect statement. That is yeah, an yeah. in, not incorrect cool, bro. Statement. You're gonna get us canceled. True, true, Iran, um, exists dream anyway, trying to expose me not on. cool hey, dude jesus you, you don't pay me uh <laughs> so as for the blue four loadout the very not real but also real uh camp guy <laughs> ca camp count count camp group um on this side uh the losers will be out of life uh but not forever uh, U.S. Marines Desert 2020. They'll be wearing camo gear with M4s, uh, uh, M16 with the uh, Jesus fuck the GL, uh, the Mark 11 Motto, the M249, the single shot AT launcher, and that big. That's gun a down single there. shot disposable M136, bruh. How do you know that? You're just a camp counselor. Oh shit, you're. <laughs> Look, Chef was in the Marines. He's passed on a lot of his knowledge that we oh, have to okay. partake on the camp here. Okay, as for why the, is this so fucking hard? As for the attackers, the Iranian <laughs> army, they no, oh, they're just paid intern. Well, they're not even paid. Intern. They're contestants. They're contest. Yeah, but they're yeah. the Iranian team because we we run out of no, names. No, they're the killer op for. The, all right, that's worse. So, as for their loadout, they're going to have a, I want to say that's a G3. <sighs> Foul, whatever, fucking gun. It's a gun. It, it, it shoots paint balls and bullets. <laughs> and bullets. Every fifth bullet, every fifth paintball, is that a real bullet? Uh, second is that gun that I, fuck it, I can't be asked. Um, that's third, an F2000. Thank you. And, and you have a PSG9. Jesus. And an Chef RPK really, with an NPC really right? You didn't, didn't and then an RPG7 and an MG3. RPG. Bruh. Wow, where did you get, where, you said, where did you get the funds for these, um, paint guns? What are you talking about? I, <clears throat> wait, no, yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, well, when we lost the million in Total Drama World Tour, we actually recovered it, we are able to pick up some stuff off of a black market thanks to a shark, but that's a side story for another time. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> would you like to do some work, Chris, or should I continue on and do the, uh, the rest well it's a really simple premise the map is pr fada it's not some geolocated place don't do that don't spread any conspiracy that this really? is a real live stream sometime but anyway op4 have three different places to potentially come in on aka our uh, uh killer op4 totally not related to the killer bass from that first season that was a pilot season i had a lot more power back then but that's before the lawyers clamped down but regardless bro blue four are going to be protecting a terminal and a sector the terminal, funny enough, has the sector inside. So they're both kind of tied to the same objective itself as uh, the screaming blue four are basically holding this hill to stop Op 4 from coming in. Oh, apparently the shark actually just came into my Discord and is trying to yell at me to say I didn't give him shit. Right, I'm sorry, the lawyers don't know about that one either. Oh, that's going to be some more red tape to have to put up. Live. I, I know we're live. Shit. Anyway, I'll just have Chef clean it up again as usual. What a, what a chill dude. I have to pay him more. Anyway. All right. Out of character. Here's the deal. Um, Finally. So oh we God. have, after FNF rounds one and two, uh, I, I made something up. I called it Total Drama Arma. There's six mini games, uh, a D-Day Recreation, a Hide and Go Seek, a zombie tag, a gun game where it's everyone just kills each other and, you know, last man standing wins. An IED, <clears throat> I mean, obstacle course, and a race where all the cars are either 
damage resistant or practically invincible. For five of those six rounds, I have two staff members, Azariah and What's That, playing the chef and assistant chef role to basically kill off the players or make their lives miserable. Um, and every time we finish a round, the first and second place winners will get a CDLC key to Reaction Force, meaning we'll be giving 12 keys away for those players. And then in the debrief out of every mission, we'll take everyone who hasn't won, spin a wheel, and give out eight more keys for a total of 20. Then I will look at the viewer list. I'll put everyone's name in a spinning wheel who's on the stream, and I will give away an additional four keys for 24 keys total, given in total from Bohemia and two Anomalous uh, Anonymous. Pff, keep anonymous. screwing that name up. Yeah, I know, oh, right? Shit. They're SCPs. Uh, anonymous benefactors who wanted to make that event really, really cool. So... The reason I'm speaking like Chris from Total Drama Arma I Island shit, the Total Drama series is because I'm going to be the host of that character. So that's why I'm speaking like I just don't give a fuck, bro. But regardless, um, yeah, I'm sorry if you hate it. I'm just trying to Leary. get the character. Leary I was slowly slipping back into it. I, well, I was <laughs> really making I was making a point of that. Six. But anyway, real quick, yeah. Nordic Prophet, thanks for the uh, resub. Modedic, thanks for the resub. And Dreadnought, thanks for a 34 month resub. Hope you all keep enjoying the operations and hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. <clears throat> all right, back Send into in character, my six. bros. We got 54 minutes Nordic. on the clock. Four more minutes for people to come in. Nukapus, thanks for the 10 month resub as well. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. Operations, and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. I'm not going to re-enable bro speak right now, but I might bring Chris speak up as a thing. Otherwise, you're going to probably have, knowing the oh. amount of channel points you people have, it's going to oh, be 20 speak. minutes of me just going to dream and going bro, 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 <laughs> no, shaka bro. No, not bro <laughs> speak. <Never again. laughs> it's going to be literally impossible to do any commentary. Anyway. Let's go ahead and look at our players here. We got Pierce commanding blue four. I already see up force number swelling in the betting queue. Anyway, Snodge pair, Patriot, Fawns, Nuzzy, Crisp, Tundian, Meerkat, and Zixme all under alpha. Goose under alpha one with Kablooby face. Bravo being led by Rat Pick with Rav. Or is that Rave? Ah, who cares? Rave. Grump, Conk, and Nemo. Charlie has Nemesis leading Malin, Katz, Cullis, Yanni, Finn, Iander, Dobbs, Wise, and Flying Finn. Bates leading Delta with Hunt, Inara, and Harrington. Delta 2's got Skipu, Ahmed, and Saigus. Op 4 is being led by Lolo with Korvac and Alexander. Alexander has a 2IC and Korvac has the platoon's medic. Not like we ever need a medic in this game. Usually the campers get immediately headshot, and all we got to do is scrap. <clears throat> anyway, Vagrant leading Alpha with G-Legs, Azuki, McBain, Sam, Zoni, Charlotte, Kiri, Tomer, and Murphy. Oddball leading Bravo with Park and Dewitson. McDeed, Stein, Lurch, and Robinino in Bravo 1. Killer J, Whiteside, Watts, Watts, and Morgan under Bravo 2. NASA leading Charlie with Depso, Kremic, Cuboid, Lolo, Wonder, Timek, and Otto Visky. Eric leading Delta with Grav, Ash, Chrono. Uh, Tackleberry, Gazog, Wheaton, and Banks, bro. It's going to be an amazing round one. Can I can I break out of character for a second? No, you're staying in character. That's oh, what I don't okay, pay you right, for. Okay, okay. hey, uh, by the way, some really sad news for you, though. Um, Pierce's first ever mission in FNF will be round three, which you will not be playing. You oh, mean the one he made? Think yeah that's unfortunate bro maybe i'll go watch your view back when i'm done with my streams today oh my god i could actually bring chris speak back and we could do bro speak for uh for day z that's gonna be absolutely infuriating <laughs> no. oh it's gonna be horrible campers maybe you should add a channel point is that is just stop doing this and just no 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 <laughs> Where would be the fun in that? I'm trying to have a bit of fun here with it, too. But I'm going to be honest. Chat, tell okay. me if you love it or hate it. I want to see how many people actually hate this because I'm still on the fence over doing a voice change like this. Ugh. All right. One minute remaining. I hate it and I want more. Shark, I think you should look into that, buddy. If it's fun for you, Geek, I still don't know if it is. <laughs> anyway, safe zones dropped. It looks like the Screaming Op 4 faction, totally not a ripoff of the... Wait, no, they're the Killer Op 4 faction. 
killer mass, even though they're on the ground. It's the Iranians. Ah, who cares? <laughs> Anyway, they're fanning out right now. Looks like going in three separate directions as Blue 4 also spans out in three separate directions. Right off the bat, I'm a bit worried because this means that Blue 4 is going to have all their forces out and about, whereas Op 4 are coming in from one vector. We saw this yesterday with OFCRA and it was a bit of a bloodbath for the defenders and we might have a repeat of that here, but we still got, I think, four minutes left on the betting time, so might get a little bit of early action there. We have a shot go out, taking out this Hunt IR round. That's gonna give indication that there is some op for to the south, though, because that gunshot's gonna give more away than the fact that the Hunt IR round's falling to the ground a little uh, quicker. Daisy will begin, I wanna say, 15 to 20 minutes after we finish up the mini game stream tonight. So we'll just have to keep that going, and whatever happens, happens. Also, I'm debating streaming to midnight. Fun fact, I've never officially said this, but I was born midnight on the 6th of April, which means that Day Z stream might cover officially my oh, birthday. I Day Z. What do you mean? Re no, that wasn't an invite. I'm reinstalling Day Z. Anyway, it looks like the hill side push from the killer op for was spotted by Overwatch. No other than Pierce was able to see him and start engaging. He's taking return fire. Bravo and Delta 2 for Blue 4 now also firing back. Dream just wants a friend. Well, I don't pay him to be on this show to have friends. Actually, I don't technically pay him at all, but that's no, besides the point. I come here on my own, uh, my own want, my own decree. You should get that looked out, brah. That doesn't make any sense don't for get what you're be a, saying. Don't be a... F <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I like free labor, but... Ah, uh, the amount of stuff I've made you do and you just kind of look at me and you want more. I feel like you should get that checked out, bro. Yeah, probably should, but you know, I I, 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 I give it to peer pressure very easily. Anyway, Q-Boyd. I love friends. Q-Boyd was killed off early, so uh, Op4 taking, Poor Blue4 camper. taking first blood. <laughs> Poor Camper. <laughs> it is so fucking hard to stay in character. <laughs> I'm just, oh, again, good. I'm using this stream to get it out of my system so I can try not to falter for the actual mini-game stream. My job, my job is to just make him break out as many times just so he can control Skip it better. Skip immediately taking shots from a marksman. That is... Uh, wow, Campus, this is an awfully close encounter here from Got Delta some grenades two. going around. I just heard an RPG fire. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a little close to their own guys. I think the guy that got hurt by that just turned around and wondered what the hell his camper was doing. Campus with uh, single shot launchers? Who would have thought? Melon coming in saying anything in FNF is for a price. If you want to squish Pierce, it's 200 pounds. I would want to see him uh, get squished by a piano, though. But you know, if it's a tank, that is also kind of funny. Uh, it's going to be on Razor server. Play. Ghost Wolves, I will do Saturday or Sunday. Someone please remind Chris to take a drink of water every now and then. Oh, don't worry. I'm keeping hydrated campers. Even though with all the sharks we had around the island in the first season kind of gave me a hydrophobia, you still got to hydrate. Anyway, we just had a random burst of fire coming out from Gazog here. Don't know what that was about, but we also have the entirety of Op4 Alpha and Bravo coming around the western side with not a lot of defenders around him. Blue 4, we've got Delta all the way out there, and we've got Charlie all the way to the north, but Op 4 is right on top of the central objective. I think this is gonna be a pretty easy win. We also have Crispy somehow falling off the tower and hurting, oh, there goes Pierce as well. I don't know what just happened there, campers. I think they, I think Pierce just fell through the floor, to be perfectly honest. Malin, can you? Can you ace heal the both of them if you don't mind? Because it does look like they just kind of fell. Oh, wait, I forgot. We stopped paying for medical on this. I don't know if they got shot and they ragdolled through or if they just somehow slipped off, but I thought I'd, I didn't see a medical symbol on Pierce as he was falling through, so that was kind of weird. Predictions 50-50 as we have Op4 now cresting the hill here. Op4 Bravo flanking Blue4 Bravo as Op4 Charlie is pushing ahead. Delta on the far right. 
We also have a small team of Op4 coming around the right side. They'll run into Blue Fort Delta. I'm waiting to see Blue Fort Charlie turn around. It looks like they are potentially rushing back to that central sector. What's strange though is Alpha for Op4 is kind of coming over the ridge a little early, and instead they're going to end up right on, t uh, right in front of the objective instead of on top of it, which could potentially give Blue Four more time to rally here. That's going to be a tough one for the Blue Four to figure out here. Just a quick reminder, campers, if you see any red liquid on the floor, that is cranberry juice. No or, be worried about or ketchup packets. We or did ketchup. stuff them all with ketchup packets. This totally isn't me on a drone on a live stream covering an actual combat engagement. Nah, the lawyer said I have to say it's just a bunch of campers here. If you see anyone screaming in pain, that's just them having a good old time. It's it's part of a video game. It's it's AI rendered video game footage. Yep, yep, yep. We love video games, campers. All right, so we still got Blue Four on the hilltop here, overwatching the best of their ability. Charlie is running back in, but Alpha's starting to make a full sprint in. It looks like distance-wise, they're going to pretty much meet in the middle, which isn't good for Charlie because they're going to be caught in the open. Alpha could potentially capitalize on that. Running through the low ground here could end up right on top of this Blue Four squad. And if Blue Four Charlie gets wiped here, that is going to be a critical loss. But it looks like Op4 turned right a little early, not noticing the Blue 4 members coming up on the side. But an Op4 member did manage to see Wise. And Kerry cannot get the- That is an explosive charge thrown. It's not thrown enough. Another grenade is thrown over. Does break some of the cover. One of the guys running up gets killed as another one gets knocked down. Of course, it's just a simulation, so I can say that word. Here. More grenades going over. Oh, that one might. No, he runs back to it and actually manages to run into it and get knocked out. There goes Kiri. All right, Blue Fort Charlie was able to get back and potentially hold some of the Op4 Alpha element moving in, but another Blue Fort group got a bit wiped as they tried to pull away. So Op4 does have a pretty hefty number advantage right now. Some of Blue Fort dealt on the outskirts also started pushing in as an Op4 element pushed their hilltop as well. Blue Fort trying to tighten their reins here. Have all remaining Blue Fort come to the central tower, but Op4 have the numbers here to put continuous pressure on these Op4. Wow, isn't this just a great day for camping? As you said that I literally watched a camper explode, so I'm gonna go, it yeah. It is pretty radical, bro. It is, it's, it's definitely radical, he didn't explode, he just... Oh he no, it's a video game. If he exploded in real life, that would be not cool, bro, but it's okay. As long as the lawyers and investors believe it, that's good enough for me. Well, that's why I said it was party popper. It's not anything else. Now, you're probably wondering why Op4 looks really similar to the actual Iranian military and Blue 4 looks really close to the U.S. Marines. Sponsorships. Yeah, let's go with that. We gotta earn money somehow. All right, looks like we're seeing Op4 launching a few more Hunt IRs up here. That's going to be a very good one to let him get eyes on what we have going on around the AO. Blue 4, though, trying to hold the entryway here. Looks like they overextended. We have Charlotte getting one kill. Taking some return fire from Pierce as Charlotte hugs the corner. Pre-fires the corner, but doesn't find him. Throws a grenade instead, gets a great bounce, but Charlotte has a grenade being run up to him. And Pierce manages to blow himself up with his own grenade. And then the satchel goes off and double taps him. Incredible campers, and that right there is why this is very clearly a simulation that would never happen in real combat. Because there's no way someone named Pierce would do that. Anyway. <laughs> also, I love how perfect Jeff came into chat and went, any dumb happen yet? And then as soon as he says that, something dumb proceeds to happen. Perfect Jeff, you have what we call the viewer caster curse. Keep Very it up, true. it generates content for the community. 
Looks like we had Korvac try to push in. He got picked off. Looking at the remaining op four, it's kind of weird because a lot of them have broken off and started moving around with Delta, kind of putting them out of the way and allowing op four to slowly trickle in instead of overwhelm the central objective, giving Blue Force some time to defeat Op4 in detail, but I'm not sure it'll be enough because Blue Force is still taking some attrition loss here. Just a reminder, campers, anyone eliminated today is kicked off the island. So if you've never I would say kicked off the public. show because we're not on an island. <laughs> Well, actually, no, because we're going to recycle their names for the I mean, <clears throat> bring the contestants back. For another chance. They it's round out. one. But that's totally natural. I mean, Zam is right. Technically, everywhere is just a giant island. So if you think about it. Got two more op for pushing Bates' position. Bates does have a 249, though. That's going to be one of the best weapons to deal with it. Nemesis and Dobbs on the left side trying to pick off some of op for trickling up on the left. That is, funny enough, part of Company HQ. So if he's able to snipe ground command for the killer op for force coming in, he's going to make it a lot easier for op for to potentially keep funneling in and be defeated in detail. Whoa, look at Delta and all these sleepy campmates. Blue Fort Delta holding his own. Like I said, they're all just sleeping. Anyway, Delta taking more fire here from some AT. We do see one of those MG gunners has been picked off as well. Rubino now coming around the corner. He takes fire. Bates, not sure if he notices, but Rubinino gets knocked out. Blue Fort... Again, uh, doing well for the circumstance. Op4 just keeps trickling in. They could choke last second. I'm waiting to see one of these Op4 guys accidentally throw a frag instead of a smoke. All right, grenades now going in. Blue 4 adjusting. Those grenades aren't going to be any sort of effective. A Blue 4 element has now gotten... Oh, nope, they're pulling north instead. Cullis with a negative one, meaning he has friendly fired, and they have given him the marksman scope to make his 249 more effective. So the stall has allowed the western side of Op4 to not enter in, but you have the eastern force coming in. More grenades now going to the central compound, but an unlucky throw meant that a grenade didn't do any damage to Anara as it got caught in some boxes. Red 4, Charlie has managed to make a break and will they be able to do anything possible but they are dealing with a mine right now that he doesn't see. <laughs> Not cool, dude. <laughs> I missed it, but I see his ragdolling body. That's unfortunate. Did it get both of them? It did. I've got it on camera. I will That's send pretty it to funny. You. Officer Berger, thanks for the 17-month resub. Uh, if you're a real officer, I gotta say that this is a show. These aren't real people fighting. Nonetheless, hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this one. I feel like or, I can do that a bit better, but we're practicing. You, no, you've got you've got to replace operations with something to do with the camp. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll clip that and I'll send it to you because that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> So that entire wave of Op4 was mostly taken down with minimal casualties on Blue Force, but the hack was initiated, and I'm not sure Blue Force noticed. Another yeah, mine goes so off. I got out as well. Oh my god. Man, I need to remind everyone, this isn't funny. This is just... It's pretty, pretty hilarious, dude. It's, pretty, actually, you know, it's, it's funny, like it's watching the campers get launched out of the catapult, except they literally just explode. <laughs> Uh, Party poppers. For lawyer, <laughs> for legal reasons, this is a joke. All right, we got one more camper for the uh, killer op four coming around. It's Lolo. He's gonna find his friends dead as he now goes around the tower. 
How are you doing, Guardian? Oh, oh no. I Chris is talking to the people in his head again. And he gets headshotted by, I believe, a 249 by 6 me. That was a crazy amount of headshot placement, even after he was dead, but it was still a good call. I'm actually kind of impressed. Op4 is somehow blowing this, in my opinion. They had the advantage, but for whatever reason, we had a big chunk of Op4 go all the way out to the east and then come in. And then the western side was stalled. There was no proper coordination. You had Op4 trickling forces, and now they're just being defeated in detail. It's kind of sad. Why do you sound like a real commander? <laughs> You're well, just a TV show host. You gotta... I'm gonna be honest with you, unpaid employee. Or intern, whatever intern. works better. Yeah, I gotta did say I just, intern, because employee just, makes it sound like you have rights. Did I just watch so... They just fought... That RPG went through the tower. Did it? I missed it. That would be pretty funny if it did. Regardless, we all spend some time in Bosnia when we're bored, but I digress. The lawyer said I'm not allowed to tell those stories. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, as we trickle down to our last few campers here, what a turnaround this has been from Blue 4. Not totally of Op 4 or the Iranian armies. Uh, Real quick, I just did a head count. It's 9v9 right now. Blue Force come back from the brink and has a pretty decent chance of winning this one. And that's gonna turn around as Dobbs gets behind and Op4 Element knocks one guy out. Park is sleeping. Yeah, Park appears to be AFK. Nope, he's doing medical. Dobbs puts some shots on him. Nemesis runs up and finishes him off. G-Legs will probably get double tapped. See, Park was, uh, was, was suffering from something called a PTCD, post-traumatic camp disorder. Well, he's got a non-disclosure agreement about what he may or yes. may not have gone on through the show if he was an actual contestant, but I digress. Well, he was an actual contestant. They're all contestants. Very true. Malin getting a knockoff on the road, and I think Blue 4 has won this. Somebody wants to say killer. There's a lot of ketchup on that floor right now. Lots of ketchup, lots and 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 cranberry juice. It's a pretty gnarly mix, bro. I'm gonna wonder if this MG3 is gonna come in here and clean house. Oh, but he doesn't get the chance as Anara comes in and sweeps him with the 240 Bravo. And we have two members of the Killer Op 4, not to be confused with the Killer Bass, that now need to trickle in. Grav and Murphy. Blue 4 have, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight players remaining. So when Op 4 lost seven, Blue 4 only lost one. As I say that, Murphy gets shot in the freaking face, dude. And he's getting double tapped, and he's dead. I mean, <clears throat> asleep. You are really start. You just you're really starting to fuck this up, Chris. <laughs> hey, I will launch you off of that catapult. Fair Watch enough. your damn tone. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will admit we did use AI to write the script so we could cheap out on actual writers, but. Don't tell the investors that. I told them we got someone important, like, I don't know. Dream, name someone famous. Uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Anyway. I don't know. I... Sorry, I'm, I'm an intern. I'm stupid. Well, I don't know why you'd name an American politician for a Canadian show host. But anyway, you should have said something Trudeau. like, Tru there you go. Yeah, I totally hired that hack. God, and I'm a reality TV host, so I would know what reality TV looks like, and that clown can make some good reality TV. Do you know what he did three times in the past? We won't mention it here. Oh, man. Poor Grav. He does have a grenade launcher. Oh, but he is taking grenade launcher rounds. 
Can this round end so I can breathe? <laughs> it... Yeah, rounds are going through the tower. What the hell? I told you. That's kind of funny. Where are you going to be here? Ooh. Oh, and now we have the tower secret ability. It takes rounds and makes them fly away. And after getting one kill, looks like the 240 gunner annihilates the final guy. And it's a blue four victory. Wow. Now, of course, everyone you saw on the Iranian side is, go uh, I mean, the red four side is going to look a little different, but they are the same person. <laughs> I promise. All right, to give some context, I'm speaking like Chris from the Total Drama series because we're doing a giveaway uh, after round two uh, during a mini game stream. I've called Total Drama Arma. It's an excuse for me to bring back game modes like the IED course and all this stuff to give away 24 CDLC keys for the latest reaction forces. So I'm sorry if it sounds taxing or jarring. I'm doing it so I can practice the damn bit. All right, so. I'm doing it to help him out, but I'm starting to lose it as much as he is. It's, it's funny, though. <laughs> like, I can it's feel my funny. voice, like, not really enjoying speaking differently, but it's all right. All right, fair or bad. Also, Pierce won. Yeah, he did, and he died in the first, like, 10 minutes. No, he was still up for a while. Oh, yeah, he was, actually. No, I I'm remembering when he fell through the world. Yeah, what's that? I had someone else message me saying I blew it, and I should have named it Total Drama or something. <laughs> but there's always Drama. a next time. Drama Island or something. All right. Jesus Christ. I haven't watched the show in years, so I'm trying to, like, fall back into, like, knowledge from when I was, like, 10. <laughs> All right, round two, where... <sighs> Guys, am I doing a good job? Am I keeping it to the, the What's show? This? Or do I sound equally as insane? I'm streaming, so we can do it after, okay? Thank you, though. Thank you. I, I didn't know. I just... I... Oh, no. Bloodwing just passed me something. Okay. Still don't know why I said thank you. I just kind of left my mouth without thinking. Well, as you said, you're easily manipulatable, so I'm true. not surprised. Did you know this guy once sold feet pics of mine? And I gave them to him for free. Dream, I thought we said we'd never talk about that again. Not I just thought it was cool, it was... dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I feel like it has to get a couple mentions every year just because it happened. I don't know why that's so hard to freaking do. <laughs> it's so hard. Just, just I crack up with it. All right, campers. So it looks like Op4 is defending three caches for round two here with two BTR 80s and transports. While Blue 4 appears to have two M2 Humvees and a triple one seven. My buddy here, What's That, who's going to be playing as chef in the minigames after this round, was going to remind us all how balancing two M2 Humvees are to two BTR-80 Alphas. Chef, can you do a breakdown for me in chat real quick to tell me what the capabilities of both vehicles are and why they're perfectly balanced to fight together? Damn, he didn't even ask the intern. <laughs> Well, Dream, no, you've already said paid. you don't really need to know, or you don't really know what you're talking about in terms of military vehicles, which is Excuse why me. I didn't ask Guns. you. 
guns with the mm -hmm. run, I don't understand. Okay, can you name both calibers on the BTR-80? BTR-80, it's, uh, what, the, the, this, like, the specific one here? Uh, F and F, because they changed one of them, don't they? Is Incorrect. It... Well, I know one of them's an AP. Um, and then you have the 762. Send in goat team. By six. what? Now. Seven, 762 by, um... Holy shit. Well, how have I forgotten? How have, okay, I've forgotten this one. But Bastille, thanks for the 50-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the camper content, and I hope you get a nice kick out of Dream being silly. Fuck you. <laughs> 762 by 3.9? No, that's for an AK or an SKS. It's by 54, broski. 54, 54. Rimless. Okay. I knew it was 5-something. 762 Rimless? by 54, yeah. And then you have the HMG, which is a 14.5 millimeter. But I was, it's the 80 Alpha, isn't it? Is the, does it no, happen? that's the BTR-80. The 80 Alpha is a 20 millimeter auto cannon, bro. Oh, well, I got it, but yeah, I was somewhat correct. Now, here's an easy one. What is a 50 cal Humvee fire? Uh, oof, um, 3.9. I think I got that one right. I'm going to try this again, Dream. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What does a 50 cal Humvee fire? Oh, I didn't hear you. 5.56, five, obviously. It's American. That timestamp's been written down. Anyway. Okay, I would like everyone to know I'm not being serious there. As opposed to you being normal, I see. <laughs> yeah. Dream. Yeah. In all seriousness, what does a 50 cal Humvee fire? 50 cal. It fires 12.7, you inept baboon. This is why I launch you off of a fucking catapult. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, campers and viewers. I just lost my cool there. Won't happen again. Maybe. I feel like you're being pedantic. How do they know so much about guns? Are they from Texas? Dream, are you from Texas? I feel like you're being pedantic on the 50 cal one. What do you mean? Shut up. Dream, are you Texan? Do I, do I sound Texas? I sound Texan. Okay, Sandy, I need you to go back underwater and get back into your tree dome if you're going to be such a fucking squirrel. What? what? Six. <laughs> These don't make any sense to me. Catapult I'm not American. I, I... Send the boom. Thanks for the 22 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of hey, the scenario. Hey, Mod Addict gave me an A plus on the accent, so I, I have all the ego boosting I need. An A plus for speaking your native language? Yeah, man, because I definitely sound Texas. Texan, fuck. I can barely speak English, come on. As a British person. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, bro. In know, the bad what? way. What? I don't know. I impress everyone. All right, we're going to rename the stream to the Make Fun of Dream stream. Uh, no, not again. Moving to just... <laughs> not again. <laughs> I love you, buddy. It's just so easy to make content off of him. Yeah, because I'm good at making content. But... <laughs> Bear. Isn't that every stream? Yeah, technically, I think it is every stream. I'm great at making content. It's the only thing I'm good at. Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm, I don't know what you're going to say, but I know you're going to say something. I'm holding my tongue. Don't yeah, worry. Hold, hold it, Chris. Like I speak perfect English. Absolutely. Yeah, true, hey, I knew what I signed up for. Of course you did. 
So at this rate, it's four o'clock. I mean, if this round ends early, we might actually be able to fully cover round three, but we'll just have to see how things go. If this round ends in 45 minutes, we could technically cover this, uh, the third round. All right, not gonna lie, I saw this area of the map over here and I instinctively thought that it was this. And it was what? Oh. I don't know why, that's just where my brain went, bro. You know what? <laughs> You, you, know you can see okay, it, right? Like, it's also it. there on the freaking yeah. other side, too, all right? That's just what Arma's done to me. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> Arma has made it so you can see penises out of everything. Anyway, the map is far bad. It looks like we're going on the northern side of it. This is the Global Ops Terrain mod. It has this map and I think another two. But regardless, we're going to be doing some uh, stuff in the Tarika Valley here. Op4 having three different caches to hold their areas to search are marked blue for having two areas to start in from you'll probably see an approach vector like this or that or something taking the mountains as well or blue four will do something really silly like go all the way around over there but then again that's why they're given transports so this is at least gonna have 15 minutes of them maneuvering around and then maybe 35 minutes of action maybe 40 if blue four decides to rush in All right, round has begun. And Dream is still here, which means I got to tolerate him. Dream, how are you doing today? Ouch. No, well, I was I was about to say I'm going to go play, but now I'm not because you were mean. Oh, Actually, you know did I, I hurt your feelings, Mr. <laughs> Intern? I can launch you off of that catapult right into the server. <laughs> no, at a whole, me. If Malin gives me the go ahead, I have the knife right here. I can cut the rope and you will fly, dude. Oh, uh, just gave. I just fucking lined it up for you there. Regardless, let's go ahead and cover this AO. So we've got blue okay, four. You know I'm gonna let you do one of them on your own, just in case you you don't get to do. Blue four have three ammo to caches to destroy here. We've got op four. Wait, what? I'm gonna let you do one on your own, so you can do the entire crisp without someone else. And I wanna I wanna see how you do. I wanna see if you that break. Out of character like that, that's on you. If you wanna, if you wanna go play, I don't mind yeah, you being what, here. Though, no, no, right? No, 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 no. That's what I'm doing. I wanna see. I wanna okay. see if you can do the Chris thing for the entire thing on your own. Okay. He's not in chat. He's not allowed to break once. Not none at all. He's never allowed to break. Oh, so I'm not okay. That's the challenge then. Because I'm yeah, I'm not there. You're not allowed to break once. So all I'll right, Guardian back. says you're died. depressing as fuck. Three, two, one, and Dream's gone. <laughs> I'm not gone. But that that was mean, Guardian. I said gone. Give me a. How many times? Oh, <laughs> he just got moved out. Did of the you just chair. fucking move him? <laughs> and I immediately fail the challenge. Who did this? Who did this? I... <laughs> he keeps getting launched out of the channel. Oh man, that never gets old. <laughs> All right, that's my one mulligan. Let's do the rest of this scenario. So, campers. Actually, you're the viewers. These guys are the campers. I'm getting that confused, but I'll get it right by the third me? area. Regardless, we got three ammo caches we're trying to get destroyed here for Goodbye. the blue four side. Op4 are trying to defend them. If Op4 is able to at least defend one of those caches, they will win. If blue four is able to destroy all three, they win. Also, I do need to put that prediction up. Thank you for reminding me, bro. Sapper, I'd say you get a cookie, but I don't really have any to give. I'm so sorry that I lied to you. All right, just give me one second. And it is up. There you go. Trying to look at my details here. All right, we'll have a few extra minutes after the uh, betting official or the round officially, uh, the start time for the round officially ends. So you can keep betting about three minutes afterwards as the sides are maneuvering. Regardless, let's go ahead and look at the briefing here. Mission details, it's 1,100 meters of render distance, 125 fortify points for the defenders. Fortify color for all the objects that the defenders can create are going to be on the tan side. And the round is, as always, 50 minutes long. Background here is after all the action, Mad Mal Turtles across... I'm gonna try that again, campers. This is one of those things where one of the interns decided to put nonsense words in the script and it catches me off guard a little bit. <clears throat> All right, 
after all the action, Mad Mal Turtles around his precious crates. The Blue Four Rabbits are on a hunt to destroy the crates. I gotta fire that intern out of my cannon next time. God, what do I pay him for? Well, nothing, but you get the point. Anyway, large open areas with hills, mountains, and rocks is our area of operations description. Op 4 is going to be U.S. Navy Special Forces in the 2010 era. So they've got a nice mix of fast core helmets with some plate carriers and some... I think that's Lizard Camp? No. Yeah, either way, it's a camouflage. That's green for our lovely tan desert because that makes sense. We've got some... It's definitely an M4 platform. I want to say a SOC. No, a SOCOM 16 is an M14 platform. That is, it's the SOTMOD stock. I know that much, but I'm struggling on the actual, it might be a Mark 18. Or a Mark 17. I'm racking my brain here. It's one of those quote unquote special forces uh, M4 platforms. Anyway, the Mark 11 for the marksman rifle, M84s for their Single shot disposable AT weapon for the light anti-tank, M249s for the light machine gun, and we've got that same M4 platform with a 320 system because you have the little front uh, handle there. And then, yep, Mark 18, that's what I figured. Uh, and then we have a Maz and a Desert Camo MP7 for the crew. They've got four transport Humvees, two M2 Humvees, an M1117 that GMG replaced with a 7.62x51 NATO M uh, MMG instead of the 20 millimeter GMG. And then they've got six transport trucks. Op 4, meanwhile, are our Russian Ratnik Desert Kits. So they've got AK-74s, the G uh, GP-25 system, for the grenade launcher, an SVD, an RPK with an NPZ railing, an RPG-7, a PKP, the RPG-32 for their medium anti-tank team, and the PP-2000. They've got one transport Ural, two BTR-80s with a 14.5 millimeter HMG, and a PKT medium machine gun, the MMG. We also have two motorbikes that can carry two people each, and then some Hilux transports that can carry about eight people as well. Otherwise, looking on our roster, D uh, Depso is commanding with Timek as his 2IC. NASA going to be leading Alpha with Wonder, Kremit, Skipu, Damian, Saigus, Ahmed, Lolo, and Zixmi under him. Pierce leading Bravo with Goose, Azuki, Snodgepair, Rapik, Rave, Re uh, Nemo, Conk. Conk, that's such an interesting name. I'd probably get that changed. But And we also have Grump. Oddball leading Charlie with Killer and Do It Son. Charlie won as Robinino leading Mick, Stein, Lurch, Sven, Swede, and Murphy. Watts Watts leading Charlie too with Park, Whiteside, and Morgan. Fawns leading Echo with Tundi, uh, Tundian being the AT gunner with that Maz. You got Crispy, Meerkat, and Roderick also under him. Patriot, wait a second. Okay, he's just a single AT guy. I saw two different AT guys, so I was wondering if they put two medium anti-tank gunners in the squad. That would have been an interesting change. Patriot and Tomer being a dedicated vehicle crew for that triple one seven. Vagrant leading Op 4 with Alexander leading Alpha with Korvac, McBain, Zoni, and Charlotte. Nemesis, Malin, Dobbs, Flying Finn, and Dream all under Alpha 2. Ash being, uh, leading Charlie with Tackleberry. Under him as the Marksman, Eric as the Medic. Gazog, Banks, Wheaton, and Hirana under Charlie 1. Delta has Bay leading with Hunt as the medic, Iqbal Norris, Inara, and Harrington under Delta 1. Echo has Yanni Finn with Iander being the AT gunner. The RPG-32 is his favorites. I'm not breaking. I just, I'm getting used to the voice right now. I haven't done it in a blitz like this yet because uh, I would have Dream to bounce off of in the first round. But regardless, Katz and Cullis also being the assistant gunners for Iander. Kiri, G-Legs, and Kivister. I'm going to settle with that. Under Golf 2 for one of the BTR-80s, and then Sam and Lolo being the other BTR-80 gunner. Why is there a pit of smoke? I love how they've already somehow destroyed one of their freaking motorcycles. Not cool, dudes. I need a sip of water. I might have misspoke. The BTR might be a 30 millimeter instead of a 20 millimeter, in which case I apologize. 
<laughs> restart the mission. The motorcycle was destroyed, but it looks like it got repaired somewhat, and they're driving around on it again. Nonetheless, we're going to see where Op4 go and decide to deploy. Looks like Iander's already waiting on this mountainside to come in on the ridge and potentially take out any blue four that come up through the valley. Out of character, I realize now that through all of that, my voice was slipping out of the accent and back to my default tone of voice. So, I, yeah, you would be right. I already did lose that self-imposed challenge, but that's really hard to keep going without someone to bounce off of to then subconsciously completely recheck my voice. That's tough. And they've destroyed the motorcycle again. And they're doing some physical repairs on it. Ah, this is why the campers ha can't have nice things. The other motorcycle is stuck because G-Legs flipped it because he was being an idiot. This is why we don't trust campers to do their own stuff or stunts. Unless they sign the liability form, in which case they could literally die on the show and we'd be covered. You gotta love lawyers, dude. I think I'm hitting his psychotic side a little too hard with that one, but we'll press on. All right, five minute warning chat. What are your predictions for this AO? It's hard to say because of how big it is, how many vehicles there are, how much space Blue 4 has to maneuver. It's very easy, as we saw in the previous rounds, for the attackers to get disoriented and trickle into the AO and defeat themselves in detail as long as Op 4 rallies on the objective and doesn't waste any manpower. I'm gonna quickly tab out here to turn my plugin on so we can actually hear them locally. Let's give it a shot. Uh, if you like them, you can, yeah. Here we go. Now, let's listen to what these little campers are saying. Uh, Skipu, you've got T1 and T2. Decide who gets which one. Uh, I'll take T3 and T4. Italian, you do a T3. Fix me and Kermit, you do a T4. So it sounds like they're assigning <laughs> battle buddies. I wish I could have that in my ops. Oh my Wait, God, nope, I went a little Liru there, got a jealousy. Never mind. Which point? Uh, we're, we're pushing directly forward into the objective two, I guess. Okay. So apparently they're pushing right into one of these. That should be interesting. Let's see if I Anders able to snipe anything. You know, it helps if they speak a language I can understand. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, the voice is also taxing on my lower jaws, bro. It's weird. I mean, we've done PvP commentary streams where my voice was already scuffed from other streams and it gets so messed up that I sound like a ghoul from Fallout. But this is a weird, this is like a new, I think the way I'm having to open my mouth and push on my vocal cords to try to mimic his voice, it's using muscles that my body normally doesn't use. It's kind of weird. Damn, what's that? You don't got to be harsh like that, bro. Not cool, dude. I said Henry Cavill with Jeff Hamm, but he was like, nah, bro, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> Likes to watch. I'm not reading that out loud. Not cool, dude. Yeah, it's interesting to grow up and look at people and go, yeah, I could do voice acting. Then when you actually try it, it is a pretty bad endeavor. That's why you've got voice coaches to really help you learn how to do stuff like that. Not going to lie, if I ever get a little bit of pocket money, I would love to hire one just for my own benefit. 
Then what's that wouldn't bully me anymore? Wouldn't that be nice? Nope, there's nothing wrong with my voice. I'm just practicing for a bit later today. What voices would you train for? I have no idea. I just have a bit of fun doing it. But it would be easier to make bits like this work without killing my own vocal cords. <laughs> Hell of a minute. Didn't Chris get chef arrested at the end of the last season? I mean, it's looking that way, killing Owl. <laughs> Go, just literally press map and you should be able to see it. Gonna chuck this one. Yeah, exactly. Friendly oh, is incredibly good. correct with that, because of course I've done my own Googling, but I'll be honest, my voice range is pretty limited, so gotta work with what you got. I'll be honest, there's parts of my voice range that can't hit all of Chris's, so that's why I sound a few pitches lower. There's just nothing I can do about that, bro. I'll be curious to see where these bikes drive off of, but the fact that they've got a PKM gunner on the rear is making me laugh a little bit. I'm back. What's been going on? Nope. Your dirt bike. Yeah, it's a direct bike. order. Get off oh, wait, the bike right now. Get off the bike. <laughs> I think I'm gonna shoot right. Ball in the face. Right. I'll unlock it. <laughs> what the fuck, baby? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Apparently, they were locked on the bike. I'm gonna be honest, there's a 50-50 that either these bikes are gonna be the most effective assets in the game, or they're going to kill themselves within the first two minutes on the first rock they see, probably that trench there. The bike was missing a wheel because these chuckleheads were playing Demolition Derby a little early. like cosplayers and shit. The round should have officially started by now, but these chuckleheads are still waiting around. On one bicycle. No, 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 we should. I think it's a good idea. Cause no, because we'll just can, die. Can, no, no, you can dual wheel the PKPs. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. It's a hidden I don't secret. have the carry weight for that. No, no, you can dual wheel it. Trust me. Can you advance mm -hmm. movement onto the bike with one of us? Okay, what are you going to bother me about, Bloodwing? The question is, will it kill him when we drive? when I first laid eyes on you. Yanni? I'm doing a bit in a no voice and now you're asking me genuine questions shoot, here. I was about to shoot it and I had to remember what team I was on. <laughs> I, I can't do a bit and then okay, you ask me. Okay, campers, this is gonna get emotional. <laughs> Uber. Oh my goodness! Thank you for the present. I'm gonna do that. No! No one's allowed to waterboard me on the set. I forbid it. I'm the executive producer here. Okay, campers, for Liru's next challenge, he has to drink this entire I don't participate in the water. challenges. <laughs> this is unfair. Ready? I am not Go. ready. Oh! That almost spilled all Look over my freaking. Get out. Okay. Three 
Getting back into character. So we've got both Echo teams close to each other with one dismounted. That's Cats potentially calling targets for Iander to hit. Little do they know that's gonna be the opposite Echo team coming up on this ridge. If they can snipe out Blue Force Echo early on, that's gonna give them an additional AT weapon to use. We also have the Triple One Seven slowly braving the mountaintop, but as you can see, it is struggling a little bit to get up there. Viso, you probably should stop gambling then. But regardless, for security. you've got the Blue 4 Echo team now playing it cautiously. Op Force is mounting up, maybe debating moving out or changing positions. I think they're pulling away because they heard the vehicle dismount, so they're expecting squads of infantry to come up here and they don't want to stay up there to risk it. Better safe than sorry. There's plenty of other room for a blue four to push up and opt for to catch him, make a call, and hit him with AT. But I'd imagine that this objective is going to be pulled out on him. Actually, no, it's completely abandoned. Opt for focusing around the destroy two objective, and blue four is going to slowly move in. So, like I said, there's going to be 10 to 15 minutes of just waiting around. Okay, Cam. Am I a joke to you? Don't smile like that. I don't think I'm allowed to pretend to be chef on stream, so I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would be not good. You're not a joke to me. You I'm a whole a act, joke. aren't I? Ha! Huh? Titties. All right, Ojam. Uh, breaking character because I was on his stream and trying to convince him he was playing Arma 3 instead of whatever game he was playing and just making a, fu uh, a bit that lasted way too long. It was funny as hell. But appreciate it, man. What? The name Arkudaki means Arkuda. Is that what, what what language is that? Greek. Oh. Well, when they speak about Greek women, I guess they know then. Oh, sure. But uh, again, staying out of character, Jamin, I know there was uh, MCC, but it was a 2D editor. Um, you don't get to say that to me. Copy echo team. Send me echo team. I'm distracted by the. By the Greek. <laughs> but I mean, jamming. Better late than never, man. If you want, jump into my place. We have a lot. Of oh, stop it. We uh, we offer a lot for Zeusing, so by all means. All right. Wait. Okay. What? Who do you think? There's a hot goth girl, goth girl on top. It's always the goth chick. Dream was literally talking about the goth chick when we started, and then you bring up the goth chick. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? One's gone on, one's gone. I mean, it's all Greek to me. It's like the Spider-Man meme where we're all just like looking at each other and pointing at each other because like, that's what happens with Greeks in the wild. We're just like, you're Greek? You're Greek? And then they proceed to speak to each other for like half an hour to an hour sitting down and drinking. I see it all the damn time. It's a little kid saying. What? Ark, what have you done? <laughs> okay, campers, back to the show. So Echo took a little bit of fire and they started pushing. Why are you doing? <laughs> Bye.
All right, so Echo's now retreating. They were taking some pot shots, but it looks like they had a bit of a spin out, but looks like they're good. No casualties on their side. Blue four, also no casualties. I'm counting that as KIAs, because technically a casualty, means me yeah, casualty means you were injured. But it's FNF, you can just bring yourself back. Now, if this round does go to the full time, I don't think they'll have, I'll have enough time to cover the third round just in case it goes to full and I do have to be somewhere at six o'clock. Meanwhile, we do have a motorcycle that has come around, part of Delta. And they do have a medium machine gun with that PKP. They could swing around and hit something on the rear, but we do have the 1117 still climbing this mountaintop. Tries to be serious, gets assaulted by wife. It happens more often than you'd think. I just saw a casualty over here. Dobbs might have just taken a random headshot and been knocked out. Otherwise, you have a long range fight between the main Op 4 garrison and the Blue 4 force here. Little worried about this because we already have forces pushing around and this force engaging. Honestly, this force should have waited till Blue 4 was a bit closer. But for now, this is just gonna pull attention and stall the fighting a bit. I guess giving Blue 4 more time to move in, hoping to focus Op 4's attention on that hilltop. If anything though, this is just gonna make Op 4 panic and pull anything that was outside of the AO back into the AO. Though I do appreciate that Op 4 does have two BTRs overwatching the area here. Funny enough, you can kind of see where the map borders out right here in some strange fashion, but regardless, we might have that BTR open up on that position in a moment. They got a little bit of magnification to work with, but not much, but they do have range into the rounds. And I think, wow, g like we just saw him get a kill. Let's go. Out of character, that was actually pretty fucking impressive. First burst, instantly right, range, and he just guys. sniped that man. That that was pretty impressive, because this is... BTRs you normally are just tree, like horrible, but that was... He made it look easy. Damn. All right. Back into character viewers. I don't know why we see Charlie 2 charging down the mountaintop of Cat Morgan playing with his own life as we see the rounds coming in. He's making this look easy. He is bleeding a little bit from that, but he was able to get down. He called the advance, so he knows. All right, nonetheless, we do have Blue 4 moving up to the closest hilltop next to the objective, just south of it, but it's gonna be an open hill face to climb down on. Looking real good for Op 4 so far, especially since Blue 4 is so spaced out. We got this force over here, so if this force tries to assault the main Op 4 garrison, in fact, the only Op 4 garrison on its own, they're going to have a hard time. Oh, I just sounded like that damn counselor from South Park for the skiing episode there. Their voices are kind of similar. But regardless, we've got Blue 4 now trying to scale off of this Overwatch position, but that's just keeping the attention on them. As we have Alpha trying to engage a little closer, Kremit did just get a knockout shot on Dream, and Dream isn't really in a position to be dragged back. We'll see if he wakes up. Nemesis jumping up to try to grab him. The old man risking his own life. I wouldn't have done a carry, I would have done a drag animation. Dragged him to the edge, turned, and then dropped him. Because up here, he's in a lot of trouble. But he manages to escape as an Op 4 member knocks out the shooter. That shooter being Lolo getting hit multiple times and he is quickly dragged in the corner by Zixmay. Grenadier rounds going out, but they're a little far. I would love to see if these BTRs are able to rack up any more kills. Looks like they're firing Overwatch up here, taking some return fire. G-Legs hasn't been able to get a repeat on his first burst. 
You can see that he is fairly well ranged here, trying to utilize bursts of that PKT since it has 250 round boxes to keep these guys suppressed. And you see that Blue 4 has been taking hits up here in accordance to these stains of ketchup on the ground. All right, we got Bravo trickling in, but they're gonna be at least 15 to 20 minutes late in the party because I think their orders were to take that objective. So if Op4 just properly holds this with minimal casualties, I think they're just gonna defeat Blue 4 in detail outright, but you never know, Blue 4 might get up here, have a few well-placed grenades and completely overpower the garrison. It's rare, but it does happen. Can someone in chat read me the point tally, please, so I can see where the bets were today. For legal reasons, they're red paint, exactly. Don't wrap me out to the lawyers, that would be pretty not Cool, dudes. All right, Nass has made it to the wall. He is slowly going to start scaling, but he might be waiting for his buddies to get up to him before he keeps moving up on his own. 59% off for. 41% blue four. I mean, those are pretty close odds. And we are seeing that we have three op four bodies right here, which is a pretty good indication that those blue four marksmen are doing their job. We did have Whiteside go down. That was the guy that got completely picked off by that BTR-80. But Op4, I believe, have lost at least three. Got Dobbs, Dream also died. Gazog, Eric, Hirana, Inara, all dead as well. So if Blue4 keeps that kill ratio, they should do just fine. We, meanwhile, down here doing Thank some medical. Know. We'll see if he'll be able to make a play to stop the initial Blue4 push here. Hein sends out a cease and desist. Well, my lawyers haven't said anything about it yet, so until they get legal notice and I get legal notice, we can keep breaking the rules. For legal reference or er, <laughs> reasons, that wasn't an admission of guilt. That was me speaking in a hypothetical scenario. So next time I do pay for pain, I'm gonna include a Plinko board just for you so you can gamble your $5 bills away to me. <laughs> Remember all proceeds go to the Lance Corporal Lee Crew Happy Face Foundation. Six me blows away this one gunner right here as Blue 4 are making a devastating assault, a satchel is thrown on this little quadrant. That's gonna continue to force Op 4 to pull back. Another satchel is also thrown in, again forcing more Op 4 to pull back. Really great grenade throw by Norris. If Zixmi stayed there, he would have been blown away. Zixmi coming up, getting Harrington so hard, he literally gets stopped in the middle of the air for a moment. That was quite interesting. I have no idea why I didn't see a kill right there. Both of them took a lot of fire. And Dixme finally gets Ash. Dixme going on the high speed low drag idea. He's trying to find where the shooter is. Vagrant staying low, Dixme opting to do some medical here, hoping no one runs in, smart call. Uh-oh. We have one cache destroyed. That was the one, nope, off here on the left side. Don't know what killed that, probably an explosive charge. Zixmi finally bites the bullet. Grenade's gonna double tap him. There he goes. Did a pretty decent job for pushing in on his own. Looks like, well, we do have another Blue 4 member, NASA here. And of course, one of the bikes ended up back on the ridge, immediately destroyed. I wonder what cued that. Nemesis trying to do the spin around with the RPK, gets the headshot. But you can clearly see he got hit at least three times here. The body armor being a little overpowered for this round. He's here playing COD as they're all playing Arma. <laughs> Reminding me of the bit I pulled on NT. <laughs> I want you to know, Jem, and every time I come onto his stream, I'm just gonna say he's playing Arma. I'm gonna keep that bit going for the rest of my life. That's just how it works.
All right, Blue Four is going to have no choice but to reconsolidate and bring their forces around. You see that a Humvee got smoked out, I think, by a BTR. AT just came out. Goes just high of the BTR. We'll see if they move it because of that. Yes. Let's go forwards. Uh, so, uh, west. There they go, repositioning that BTR. That would have been a great shot. Echo, meanwhile, for Op4 coming around over here. Triple one seven is in the back line. And I think Echo's gonna literally drive right up to it and smi uh, snipe it with some AT. All right. Have eyes on. That's not a distance. He's asking for a distance. He tries to shoot, but it starts driving. The triple one seven having some impeccable intuition to realize it was under fire. AT gunner almost gets sniped off. Go, go, go. Well, jamming, it's going to be great. There's another person that I watch on Kick, which is the latest streaming platform to compete with Twitch, you know, similar to Mixer back in the day. Uh, but his name is uh, Peeps. Real good guy, does charity work, builds uh, computers for CPUs, but every week he runs a few streams where it's tech support. And I always type in chat, the best tech support advice ever. Like washing your motherboard to clear it from dust before you actually plug it into your computer. Everyone absolutely loves my PC advice. I don't know why, I just enjoy doing those bits. I just realized this cache is in a really cool area right here. You're probably gonna see this in a POG mission in the future. But otherwise, they're setting explosives on this. Yep, that satchel will take it out. And Op4 will continue to hold this final cache as Blue 4 finally start pushing all their forces in. But we have a full squad going after this BTR back here. And the BTR is just ignoring them at this point. Vehicles hiding behind the BTR for cover. Charlie doesn't seem to have any AT to take out the BTR. And the BTR is just focusing on sniping any vehicles that push in. So Pierce tried pushing up with that 50 cal Vic. And there goes cash number three. There she goes. I do appreciate that Pierce is slowly trying to put the vehicle in neutral and ride it down the hill to get out of the BTR's line of fire, and that allows him to take that 50 cal gunner and start shooting up on the hill. More Blue Force starting to rush in a great grenade. That might get Korvac. It does. Lolo with a very lucky throw, trying to find an angle, gets the headshot on that other Op4 member and solidifies two kills here. And I think we're just having an example of where Blue 4 trickling in are getting right on top of Op4 to go into CQC, AK grenade range. And now you're just having the kills trade out at this point. So I think Blue 4 are going to slowly win this fight unless they're unable to keep pushing up on this objective and the BTRs keep doing pretty hefty attrition damage. But in terms of Op4, there's only about five left in the actual AO, and there's still a good chunk of their player base on the Overwatch. But Blue4, at this point, I think outnumber Op4 about two to one. Mainly because that initial push was really effective, and the Overwatch was able to kill off at least five or six guys before Blue4 even pushed in. And I think Damien just got a one tap on Depso. And Damien's trying to patch people up now. That's funny, because Depso appears to be the ground command for this scenario, and he got blue on blue. Not cool, Damien. We're gonna check on the BTR crews now. G-Leg still with that one and only kill. Sam and Lolo on no kills, which is more even to what you see in ops like these. Got the triple one seven back here. Echo trying to push up on foot. I think they're honing into its engine. 
And they're driving forward again. Once again, eluding. Iander with his AT. Friendly night fights. Copyright pending. They have eyes on. But Iander's gonna lose the angle. You know, it would be funny if they just grabbed the 50 cal and turned that vehicle into Swiss cheese. But I think it's gonna drive off the side instead and find some rocks. And once again, Op 4's AT team is forced to kick rocks. We have Banks over here on the side as an AT gunner. He's up three kills. He's got a really cheeky spot to help stop some of Blue Four from advancing. You got some bodies out here for his handiwork. Pierce trying to dodge some marksman fire at this point. Mike gets caught out in the open and we finally see Sam. Oh, that's his second kill too. So in that quick span of a few minutes, he's been able to change his angle. He's found a pretty good spot to engage additional Blue Four coming in. And it sounds like that vehicle was finally hit. It had to have been moving, and Iander was able to get a fine snipe on it. Vehicle was about 340 meters away. Not a bad shot on a moving target. Blue 4 once again making an advance on the objective. Pierce and Lolo close by, charges being thrown in. Pierce cooking his grenades. Air burst in them. Little high to be doing any uh, significant damage. Norris spots Pierce and takes him out. Depso runs up, tries to get a single shot on him. Depso might end up running right into that friendly grenade. He does, and he is killed by Kremitz Grenade. You gotta watch where you're going, campers. Otherwise, well, the liability form covers it if you accidentally kill each other in these events. At least protects me, not each other. All right, we've got one BTR that's been sniped off. The other one's still locally down here. And we've got Echo for Op4 now picking people off on the rear as well. But Blue 4 Echo's turned around, might start engaging. But the main fight's right here. This is what'll determine the victory. Charlotte trying to suppress Lolo's position. Lolo returning with that uh, 249. 200 rounds versus Charlotte's 30. It was, a, oh, it was an RPK, but even then, 45 versus 200 is a bit tough. Farabat is a pretty nice map whale. I agree with you on that. Kramit comes in, takes out one op four member here. Funny enough, you got Norris over here, not checking his lefts, and Kremitz getting a bit of a pass. I might have just cast a curse at Kremit there. Damien trying to make up for the fact he killed a friend, actually has killed three people, he was at negative one. But he's gotten three op four kills, and you only see one op four defender up here. Does anyone have explosives? Park is set as an AT guy, but he doesn't have his AT. The machine gunners could just mag dump the cash. Another explosive detonated. And Lolo's going to start his mag dumping. Quickly checks the left, cash is destroyed, and that is a blue 4GG. I think I will have just enough time to cover round three. Viso once again loses all of his money. Viso, are you going to be around Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Chad, Standard Time? No. No, I did not. Fair enough. It didn't help that Bloodwing came in and started messing it with me, matter. too. You, you should have kept it up. Don't tell her I did that, please. 
You know what? I will, just to spite you. No, no, please don't. I didn't do anything to you. All right, Zargabad. Ooh, so you're staying for round three? Yeah, I, I have enough time. It's 442. Yay. My next lane's in an hour and 18. So unless these guys run super late, I should be fine. Yay, friendship. All right. I just think it'd be really funny if you just started talking to Bloodwing like Chris. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay. So you were doing that. All right. Fair enough. Well, I notice if I keep it going for long bits of time, I start reverting into my own voice and it's starting. Wait, hold on. I want to see if I can do it because my voice is starting to be taxed a little bit. Uh, I'm hearing it. All right, smooth skin. Ooh. What are you staring at? It's not there okay. yet, but give it like at the end of this round, I could probably pull off the ghoul you again. Should, you should probably save the voice now. Nah. Okay. Ghoul Chris, it's fine. You're going to have a really, really bad time. How long yeah, is the event fine. meant to go on for? It's six mini games, so some of them will last like five minutes or less. Some will probably go up to like 10 or 15. So oh, okay. I would say not more than two hours, but. Is there still space? There might be one slot left. How do I, how do I sign up? Discord, buddy. <laughs> Let me check. All right, actually, we I think we have four slots before people just unslot, so I'm going to go take care of that real quick. Uh, actually, no, let me let me continue the task I had at hand, which was typing up the final mission commands, and then I'll deal with that. Oh, shit. Okay. BTR 88 and a BTR 70 while green 4 has. So let's get okay, uh, and then the map needs to change, and the music command needs to change. Zargabad, I have seen done so many ways. We'll see how it goes this way. Hopefully it's going to be Zarga good. <laughs> I I okay. knew someone somewhere was going to make a pun like that. You know what, coming from you, I'm, it just doesn't <laughs> even phase me. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that's the level we've reached. I'm not. All right, let me deal with these unslots. Uh, can you just slot me in somewhere? Or would you uh, like no. To? Uh, for records, you have to make the slot. Oh, uh, yeah. Because then other people ask me to do it, and then there goes my yeah. system. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to take a tablet, but it fell out my mouth. Hand, not mouth. What was it called again? Hmm? The the op, just so I'm slotting it properly. Re read the announcement. Send I'm looking through, I'm just dumb. Now. Oh, that's why I'm looking at the wrong one. Unslots are annoying because I got to remove them and then remove their original post. And then because it purges them from record sake because I use the slotting system to keep track of who's active in the community. So if someone slots and then unslots, they don't 
you know, for review's sake, they don't have any place in the community because at that point, you know, they're not playing actively, so. Especially if they do it multiple times. Oh, I also have a system. If I notice they do it multiple times, I'll just deny the slotting request outright. Oh, it's like they're just kind of wasting my time, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I know people sign up and like, yeah, I'll go to this, but then they get to a day and they're like, I don't want to go to this. I'm just going to say... I have done that to one person okay. because they literally slotted for like six ops back to back over two weeks and then unslotted and I just kind of got sick of it and I'm like, nah, mm. stop it. You're wasting my time. I do not envy you uh, community runners. All right, and then I have to shoot you a DM. So that... I think there's two slots remaining. Uh -huh. If I were to look... Nope, three slots. Four slots. Four slots, all right. So yeah, 41. I mean, that means technically people have like a one in two to get a key at the moment, which is pretty cool. Pretty epic. But yeah, no, so the, the schedule is we'll be covering round three. Jam and thanks for a Twitch Prime sub, by the way, bros. Okay, sorry, I was tapped out dealing with that, but hope you keep enjoying everything, and I'll try to cover uh, or jump into NT stream a bit often and uh, run that bit, because it was funny. But yeah, so FNF will run. Um, they run at 65 minutes, so it's going to cut It's gonna cut it really close to the start of my thing, but it'll still be on time. Uh, I doubt this thing will go to full because usually Zargabad missions are completely CQC. So they'll finish in like half the time. Uh, we'll run probably 6 to 8.30 at the longest. I mean, going through the six mini games we have, uh, the D-Day one's probably going to be like 10 minutes max. It's just going to be a lot of player deaths because I asked a friend of mine to give me a number between 90, uh, 20 and 100, and she said 99. So I'm like, okay, there's 99 bounding mines down now. Great. Not including the border mines, but regardless... Um, so that one's probably going to be 10, 15 minutes max. The zombie one, I think, is going to be the longest one because that has everyone slowly dying. Um, the hide-and-seek one should probably take no more than 15 minutes max uh, because if, we're, we, if we get to 10 minutes and people are just hiding around, I'm going to start putting, like, waypoint markers around where they are. Um... There's, there's actually like a 200 mines because I had to mine the borders of the zone as well, but uh, don't worry about it. Um, they're also the bounding mines, which means they jump into the air first and that they're very deadly. It's fun, though. Liru the chubby hamster. Only my fiance can call me that. Don't bring that up again, please. That's an older meme, but it checks out. Uh, she came down and said that. And now some people in chat still remember, but we don't have to remember Aww. that. Regardless, um... The race, uh, it's capped at 15 minutes max anyway. Um, that one can technically be done in half the time, but that's if you don't get molested by other drivers. Um, someone's going to meme my word choice there. I'm just racking my brain because I just prepped all six of these missions on the Discord. The gun game, probably going to take five to ten minutes max uh, yeah, we'll because you can blue force track people every 15 seconds. I'm going to uh, run that on the gun game. And then I'm trying to think what the last one was. Oh yeah, and then frickin' the IED course. That's gonna probably be done in five minutes max. I'm gonna be honestly impressed probably if it less. takes more than like 90 seconds. It's literally, I'm sorry, <clears throat> the obstacle course yeah, with the yeah. physical challenge. <laughs> so, I mean. Hey guys, Chris told me that if I win all of these, I, I might get paid. In your <laughs> dreams, bruh. Actually, that probably would be something Chris would tell someone, and then when they actually win it, he just finds a way to off them anyway. But let me do some math here. So let's take the maximum from Zombie, so 25 plus the IED course, which is 5, um, plus the race, so 45, plus the hide-and-seek, which I'm going to say 15, so that's one hour there. And then downtime is going to be 5 minutes per, including the debrief time, so we're going to dedicate like half an hour to that, so that's an hour and a half. And then the two other game modes, gum games, probably going to be up to 15. And then, oh my gosh, the D-Day one's probably going to be 10 to 15 too. And I might just re-say that one, but it, it should fall to two hours, maybe a little longer. Because again, we have to run the keys for everything else. And that'll take me a bit of setup, but nonetheless. 
That's why I need this to start ASAP, because if it doesn't start in three minutes, then we risk going into overtime, and I'll just have to jump out early, but that's fine. Server's up. I just have to literally hit the restart button. I've, I've sent every player the information since before FNF so they can get on and test their mod set. And if they don't, then that's not on me. They can just jump in later. And then after we do the mini game stream, I'm gonna take like 20 minutes off, flip everything over to Daisy, and then we'll do Daisy, I guess, till it becomes my birthday. But yeah, yeah. Shit, I wanna be there for that. We'll put, uh, we'll put the D goal up as well, so we can see if we can fund more ops. I found a really interesting way to fund Pay for Pain though, because of the new idea I have for it. It's gonna we're gonna start talking about it next week because I already had the document mostly done. I wanted to start it last thursday but i've had some family stuff to take care of uh gosh how do i bring that up so tldr is uh we have to find out how to move everything out of uh, in a house out of a house so i've been having to help with that um but it might be cool because i might get the type 56 but regardless Uh, it will be, the Daisy will be on, uh, Razor's server. Uh, this weekend and next weekend we'll be doing, uh, Ghost Wolf server as well, double dipping, but then Ghost Wolf, I think, is gonna be on hiatus. He's getting, like, A, he's getting sick of Deer Isle, and B, uh, the server lease runs out. And, I mean, we all know, we've known Ghost Wolf for a while. Actually, hell, he's right here, and if he wants to explain it, he can, but, uh, you know, he's one of those guys where... He'll offer the server for a bit, and then, you know, go do his IRL stuff, and then maybe offer the server again in the future. And then we try to utilize it as best we can. I also love how Vietnam is loaded on the server because it keeps yelling at me for having Vietnam on. <laughs> All right, let's see. So op four, <clears throat> back in the oh, character God, campers. So we've got op four in three different spots here. Green four gonna be holding some sort of custom fortification line. Uh, under Shabazz, bruh. I would believe this red area here is a minefield. Always fun to see that. Dream will get paid when moves out of Liru's basement. That implies I ever had any, uh, motion to pay him. You know what, Radical? I'll give you a deal. For the donation goals that'll come up for the DayZ stream, I'll add an additional tier at the end. A $1 tier where we pay Dream. Whoa. And you know what the great thing about it is? Even if we reach it, I'm still not going to pay him the dollar. I'm going to install ah. DayZ. I'm installing DayZ after this, and I'm going to hunt you down. Because you can install DayZ. You just signed up to join the mini games, bro. How are you going to install DayZ when you're playing the mini games? I'll lag the fuck out, but Checkmate, still win. Checkmate, Dream. I'll lag out, but I will still be there. Oh, I can feel it in my throat. You can't. Oh. Moving on. Viso, um, Viso, don't you have a job that you could do to make some money? Or don't you have parents that you could borrow money from? Or siblings or cousins? Come on, Viso. You just gotta think. You just need that one spin to work in your favor. Am I promoting gambling for legal reasons? The lawyers say I have to say no. I'm just appealing to one man's ego. Don't sue me, viewers. <laughs> yeah, please don't sue him because he has this thing in his contract that if he gets sued, it will, all of it goes to me. But not the money, the, the suing part. Viso, that's great, buddy. You could put in a job application for that guy. No, Viso, put the gun down. Whoa. Viso, put... Put oh. my balaclava down. Viso, no. Viso, oh, no. they only have like 50 bucks in the cash register, Viso. You're not that desperate yet. Yeah, all the money's kept outside in the big safe. <laughs> Out the back. Oh, I didn't tell you that, though. <laughs> all right, viewers. Time. We've got the final round to go with here. 
Mission details are as follows. Op 4's got three sectors to capture. How Op 4 captures a sector is they have to enter that sector's area with a number advantage. As soon as they do, the sector will start counting down. If at any point Op 4 loses that number advantage, the sector's timer is reset, and only when Op 4 has that number advantage in the sector again will the ta uh, timer start counting down. Once that timer reaches zero, the sector is captured and cannot be recaptured by the defenders, in this case, Green 4. Otherwise, our briefing is as follows. A kilometer of render distance, 100 fortify points. The green color for the fortifications of sandbags and H barriers and a 50 minute round. Notes, there are mines in the red checkered box. P.S. Oh. Sorry about that. The core mission ID Your and buildings message. were made by Pierce. Adjustments and fixing was done by Sam. What the hell did you just call me, Dream? I swear I heard, are you all right, Pierce? No, I said Chris. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you don't get catapulted yet. <laughs> anyway, area of operations, the town of Shabazz has been heavily entrenched with mutually supporting dug-in positions and emplaced bunkers. Pretty cool, bro. Otherwise, mission rules, defenders may only place down planks and sandbags. No additional barriers. Quite interesting to limit the fortification script. Otherwise, op for our Russian VDV kits from the 1980s. So we've got AK-74 platforms with a Dragunov marksman rifle, RPKs, RPG-7s, PKMs, and the legendary, the mythic. The literal best gun in the world, and for legal reasons, I say this video game, which I'm going to dub Arma 3, literally pulled that one out of my ass, the AKS-74U. This thing literally has toppled dictators. The only reason, pre uh, <clears throat> I almost called him a president, Fidel Castro was never assassinated by the CIA was because he always kept one of these within five meters of him. This is the gun that stops anything from trying to kill you, bro. <laughs> Don't listen to campers, that's just a bit of lore from some I will make you fly. Okay. With my catapult. What did, what did I do? I'm getting my money's worth. What, Regardless, what? we have the BTR-80 Alpha with 150 rounds on its auto cannon and 2,000 rounds off of a single PKT. We also have a BTR-70 with 250 round boxes for the PKT, eight of those. And we've got 10 rounds of... Or no, 10 boxes of 50 rounds of 14.5 millimeter for its heavy machine gun. Green for defending, meanwhile, have two sit-down cord statics, two standing cord statics only with five boxes of 50 rounds of 12.7, making it a heavy machine gun as well. And their kits are 2000s insurgents, which funnily enough, have the same weapons. You know, no, they don't. It's the AK-74s are the same, and then we've got an M76 for the marksman rifle, a PKM which matches, RPG-7 which matches, a GPMG for the medium machine gun, and an RPG-32. And it looks like the prediction never went up. Not cool on me, it's my bad, bros. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'll set it to 10 minutes so we don't cut in too hard on the actual scenario. There you guys go. Time to buy another 40,000 bits to troll Lee Ruin Daisy. Well, we are doing Daisy tonight, so I guess you'll get your opportunity. And again, any Yay! bits you give go into funding operations for communities in need. We've already been able to fund five operations for various communities, I believe three. And if you type in, we don't have it written down in the title, but if you type in exclamation point D-G-O-A-L, you will be able to see that we're only halfway through that list. And I do need to do a dev stream to show you guys what has been built for those communities already, just within a few days. Only thing I did was stop him from doing semi-only kits versus fully auto kits because that's dumb. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Usually when we see rounds that have the FNFAL versus the AK, the AK almost always won. No, that was 
out of character because I want to explain this properly. That was FNF. It was British versus Insurgents on Malden, 2035. Right. And every single round, the British lost because it oh. was Fals or L1A1s was their equivalent. They had the bigger caliber, but they couldn't beat out the full auto of the AKs every single time. Offense or defense, they lost. So please, if you're doing PvP, do not put semi-auto versus full auto because semi-auto loses every single fucking do it. time. It'll be really funny. Oh, <laughs> Sparkle, that'll be uh, in an hour. Fun fact, Sparkle is the one where I told her, give me a number between 20 and 100. She said 99, and that's why there's 99 mines on D-Day in the AO. Outside of the AO, there's another 200, but we'll get I there when we get there. Yay! Out of character, I'll say this again for when we do it, but the whole reason I'm doing the mini games this way is because this one image of the internet of Chris in a landing boat, yeah. lifting yeah. his hands <laughs> and someone saying... In his voice, all right, campers, today's challenge is going to be a tough one. And I'm literally, that has lived in my head rent-free for like four or five years. I have that image literally in the loading information of that mission. And I'm just going to recreate that damn line, all right? That's why that this is all themed the way it is, because that fucker has been living rent-free in my fucking head literally since college. And now you've become him. And now I... <laughs> One of us something. campers. One, One of, of us. us campers. <laughs> but there you go. Some Liru lore on why he's become Chris today. I just, you know, I've... we haven't done our breakdown of the characters yet. Let me get that done real quick. <laughs> Cats leading Op 4 with Malin as the medic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Nemesis be, leading be, Alpha okay. with Cullis, Dobbs, Iander, Yanni, Finn, Wise, and Flying Finn. Damien in Alpha 2 with Saigus. Rat Pick leading Bravo with Kazag, Grump, Conk, Rave, and Nemo. Bravo 2's got Tackleberry, Ash, Banks, and Hirana. Bates leading Charlie with Hunts, Norris, Harrington, and Iqbal. Korvac leading Delta with Tomer, Otto, Visky, Alexander, Kavister, Kiri, and Zoni. Vagrant leading the Gulf 1 team of the BTR-80 Alpha with G-Legs and Eric. And you'll notice they have those beautiful, delectable AKS-74Us. Again, for balance, they can only give them to vehicle crews because if they were allowed to be standard issue on the field, it wouldn't even be a round. I would not even offer bets because Op 4 would win hands down. Sam and Lolo going to be crewing the BTR-70 in Golf 2. Fawns commanding Fort Green 4 in the defensive objective. Goose leading Alpha with Rodrig as the marksman. Crispy, Henry, Pearson, Schnodger pair under Alpha 1. Tindian, Meerkat, Mike T, and Murphy under Alpha 2. NASA leading Bravo with Wonder, Lolo, Zixmi, and Kremitz. Cat Morgan leading Delta with Oddball as the medic. Lurch leading Delta 1 with Dewitson, Watts, Watts, Savan, and Whiteside. Robinino leading Delta 2 with Stein, Swede, McDeed and Linux and Echo has the medium anti-tank weapon with Depso gunning it and Twins and Tymek being the assistants. It definitely does help if I hold my throat because I can do that accent a little bit better. I need to listen to his voice. I need to see. I want. I want to. I want to see how accurate it is. Give me two seconds. Chris's actual voice can hit decibels a little higher than my default range which is why I sound a little deeper than his but I'm trying to accommodate as best as I can however when I do that type of accommodation it really does mess with my vocal cords so okay, I searched up um, Chris uh, Total Drama and the first video that came up was Chris McLean being a bit of a creep incredible I'm just gonna say this dream the algorithm search history reflects your searches, no, not you the internet this searches. Me. This has been proven time and time again, Dream. I've never searched anything Total It's Drama a combination either, of the... Ar <laughs> I was about to say Arma. The YouTube algorithm and your search preferences. So, so, so if so that's what, what you get up... What do I search? Creep I don't want to know, but my creep. lawyers are telling me we can't dive into that concept, yeah, right, Dream. Okay. Dream. Actually, there was a recent lawsuit that showed that Google wasn't deleting incognito browsing history. Yet, chuckle fucks should have used something like Tor, DuckDuckGo. 
you think I use fucking incognito Google? Well, clearly not if YouTube's actually using your history to pull up videos like that. What are you... <laughs> I think it's just me searching up a specific video about a specific character being so, stuck with one of his personality traits. Katoese, these bunkers, if I remember correctly, are actually part of a composition on the workshop. They just require you to deform the terrain with them. Now, these were, uh, just speaking in context here, when I worked for COG every Saturday and I had to make all their Ukrainian trench missions, I did encounter this composition for these trenches. The reason I didn't use it is because using all these dirt effects with all of these sandbags textured made for a lot of frame issues when I use them with, you know, the 60 to 90 players. You're not going to feel that as much with PvP, so you're allowed to basically use a little bit more of these trench lines and get that leeway. But if he were to double the amount of trenches, we might start feeling that frame-wise. But that's also why we have a smaller map like Zargabad, so it helps alleviate some of that pressure that these trenches can create. Putting these on more higher-definition maps that are Ukraine-style, especially the newer ones, can make it a bit framey, like doing the um, Zagorsk terrains. Definitely mess with it a little bit, but... These are very nice trenches, and I bet he has added a bit to them. But overall, it is nice to see how Arma 3 has gone, because this is totally not real life. Wink. Okay, I just but how it's developed I... over the years. Go ahead, intern. Uh, I just want to stay after listening to some playbacks. Probably a, a 6 out of 10, I'll give you. But going away from that, because... You're, do you're doing a good job, Chris. No, I'll of take that because, Chris. again, his voice range is different than mine, so this is the best I can do. So if it's at least a 5 out of 10, that's passable for me. Oh, we started. I didn't even see that. Oh, I'm so excited to see how these campers come up against this challenge. Chat, do I tell them there's still three minutes in safe start, Fuck, or do I no, let them figure it out? No, it, it's gone. At the bottom left, it's gone. Normally, I rely on a natural timer, but I guess I'm just... Stupid as fuck. We all knew that. So, Katus, uh, the only way to edit terrain in Arma 3 is you either use Bulldozer and you reintroduce it as a new PBO file, thus releasing it as a new mod, or you use Deformer. It's just the one issue with Deformer is that when you deform terrain on bigger maps, it just increases the likelihood that people are going to run into more memory leak issues. That's just how it is. Valk, we're not doing an uwu. What? No, oh, no, not no. cool, not... dude. Not cool, dude. I think you should go to jail for that. Not literal jail, the, the H jail. I think I'm allowed to say that word on public broadcast. So I'm trying to look around the zone right now, and I can't seem to find any mines. But just because I can doesn't they mean they're exist. not there. Mines aren't real. I'm going to walk in one straight line during the D-Day mission and not blow up. It's going to be even funnier when he blows up. I won't. Because they're not mine. <laughs> Isn't that a good one, Chris? If you were on that catapult, I would launch you for that one, dude. Oh, come on, Chris. I'm funny. Right? Anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> Mound's assuring me there are mines, but they're none of mine, I that's for sure. He's currently ill, so I think he's delusional. All right, one minute. I'm hoping this round doesn't take the entire amount of time. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. The AOs do start pretty far off, so a lot of forces might end up walking it. Oh, this is going to take a second. All right, out of character. I'm going to just leave Where it on map that? and go use the bathroom, so I'll be back in a minute. This is the only break I'm What's going on, Chad? I'm just taking over while Chris has a little bathroom break. 
As he's left you on map, you will see that the Eastern Force has started to mount up in some of their vehicles. It is Gulf 1 and Gulf 2 as the safe stone officially drops. Moving out is one squad with the front B uh, BTR and a lone BTR with no squad, so they are using some of them as troop transports. The Northern Force are breaking out into two sections. One section is going to head south, the other section is going to head west. Ain't that cool, campers? Now, finally, looking at the south, it is the smallest of all of ours. It is a single Charlie squad, and I imagine they're going to push around to the west and follow the road up. Looking at the BTR squad, they're heading north, following the road, try, probably going to support the northern attack, so it, it comes from two sides. Interesting choice, because Charlie are completely on their own with only foot transport, so it's going to take them much longer than it will the northern force to get there. Are we all excited for the main event later? The ca the campers are going to have a blast, I'm sure of it. I'm sure I'm going to have a blast as well, because as an intern, he would never, ever put my life at risk for the entertainment value of other people. That's the trust I have in Chris. He always has my best interests at heart. Focusing back on the two squads to the north, they have indeed broken up. It seems one force is going to head for Hill 2022, which, let's be perfectly honest, really isn't much for Hill. It's mainly flat land over here, so you're not really going to be able to see over the trees of anyone else. You know, I don't know if this is Canadian Dream, but he was pretty doing a pretty decent job, if you ask me. Thank you. I'm trying not to do Chris, but I'm also trying to sort of follow how you're doing it, but not how you're doing it. I don't want to be, do any stolen valor, but like I said, if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you, did you have your, uh, your earphones on while you went for pee pee? Shut up. I'm asking because I want to know if you heard what I said. I wasn't listening. Okay. Well, as I was on before, as you can see, the Eastern force who were just the Gulf crew have mounted up, uh, have, have moved around to the north to support the north flank and leaving the south flank on their own as a small force to act as a pincer force. But if I'm, well, I don't think it's even a pincer force, I'll be perfectly honest, they're, the, the north force are going to arrive there so much quicker than the south force. Uh, it's going to be a long time, so I don't think you'll be able to finish this round, Liru. Uh, sorry, Chris, fuck. I'm, I'm going to drop the accent just so I can let my voice rest because I just realized yeah, that, how yeah. stuffed my vocal cords were getting. Um, oh, really? Oh, shut up. There's going to be another five to ten minutes of maneuvering on the northern side, probably closer to five yeah. before they actually start shooting at each other. Southern group, probably another up to 15, I want to yeah. say well, 10, but we well, might see thing. forces pull from the south. Well, that's the thing I'm worried about. Is the northern force going to wait for the southern force? And Oh, if they gonna... do, then this is going to take a hot second. Yeah. But actually, I'm seeing it's cats and cats hates when that happens. So I don't think he will. I think he'll send the Northern Force in first and the Southern Force will come in as a surprise force. Maybe maybe he's hoping it will pull everyone. It'll pull players off uh, Sector 1 to Sector 3. Yeah, all right. There's a Green 4 immediately opening up on some Op 4 moving in. What's that while I have you here? How much Ooh. would uh, I have to be given Ooh. to have you command a POG Op on a Thursday evening? <laughs> Sven, um... Nemo gets killed off, Sackleberry's knocked out. Sven, Sven got that hit just by spraying his, uh, BMG, but it was a really nice shot as he just poked his head over. Mm. No, it was a good machine gun then. Server for Total Drama's been up since before, uh, what's-its-face, uh, uh, FNF started, uh, so people could test their mod sets and make sure they were ready to go at 6. Yeah, yeah, what's that? How much would I make off of it? And then I'd give you maybe like 40%? 40? <laughs> 40? That's what. Jesus. I get zero. I know. <laughs> I love friends. <laughs> I love how there's a knocked out BTR in the trench, too. You'll get back to me? All right. Well, he fell, he fell it over. I'd love to see Bernardi back, especially for a pog op. I'd have to clear that with Patch, but I think he'd be okay with it. 
anyway, all right, so we have the BTR-70. Ash doing all the way over here. Yeah, they're shooting all the way at a, I think they've PID'd the wrong compound. So Op4 seems a little confused with what's going on. I'm just confused why Ash is like so broken up from his squad. Yeah, all the way out here. Maybe he's meant to run a distraction with those smoke grenades. I guess, but they also. While everything else comes on the it. flank. Yeah, but I mean, look what he. So he's literally pulling everything. Yeah, yeah. Just so Alpha and company can get like right on top of Green 4 from the direct north. That's actually really smart. It's a little evil, because I'm not 100% sure we're allowed to do lone wolfing like that to make distractions, but if they. Again, if that's fair game, I completely endorse it, because again, this is what makes really good strategy. Lyra, I think they're shooting at him. Yeah, they are. Oh, um, Op4 yeah. shooting at Ash? Yeah, not surprised. Yeah, yeah. so it wasn't a Hey, look, if Op4 doesn't know what they're doing... Then, yeah, Green 4 are never going to know. Exactly. But here, let me let me look at it this way. Ash is part of Bravo. Okay, yeah, no, so he's literally just scouting for the entirety of Bravo, and Bravo's no, shooting at him now because yeah. he's part of Bravo. So I think this was just oh my God. Bravo oh being my God. dumb. Oh, my God. That, oh, GL, that GL, it was a small... If that was a frag, oh. that would have actually hurt him. That's... Wow. That was a beautiful... Delta have noticed Alpha, but I think Alpha fired at them first. And now just trying to move through as much death as they can. Yeah, They've they should have moved a bit, bit closer build. before they opened yeah. up, but oh well. But Green 4 haven't moved anyone further to Sector 3. They're all just... They're, they're holding... Let's see. Charlie's been slowly inching up. They've just been fighting stamina, and the Delta's going to be coming around... Uh, Close to the minefield side, they have to be bypassing the minefield at that point to hit sector one from the west. So it's a weird encroachment that we're seeing, but. Well, the, the, the side on the north, with the BTR 80 Alpha, because they're going straight into them. Yeah, now we see them shooting at Echo, which is pulling back. Yeah, look, you've got, look at Alpha on the northern side. They're about to walk straight into it. I don't know if that's who you're talking about. I don't know if you're talking about Charlie Red 4 or I'm, Alpha I'm Red I'm talking 4, about but... Alpha Delta. He going Alpha, around it, but yeah, Alpha is on the northern yeah, yeah, side. Saying, yeah. I'm going to laugh through. my ass off if I watch Op4 run into the minefield and then a mine conveniently spawn next to him because Malin's just kind of rubbing oh, his hands together TV going, ah, yes, that. it's time. I can't see any, like, um, I, like, I can't see IEDs, I can't see, like, I mean, obviously they can be so small that they can be Some really minefields I have found the mines in them, but this one I, I genuinely yeah, yeah. haven't seen any. And I'm pretty good at spotting them, but... Who knows? Wise is now crawling up, trying to be parallel to the minefield. And Iander also crawling. Wise did just take some shots. But you see that Green Force also getting their trenches smoked out. I just saw a guy get killed by a GL launching his body. That was, oh, Pierce getting blown away. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. Whiteside also has been killed off because he was outside of the trench behind a little bit of his own entrenchment. Charlie now starting their charge. I, again, I think this is purely just a distract. So since Green Force focused on every direction at the same time, they're hoping, or the attackers off for are trying to break in on one side. And if they can get in in one spot, they should be good. But Bravo's kind of lagging behind because of their whole friendly fire situation. Delta plans to go through the minefield. Yes. They, they do. They do. I want to see them all explode. I'm going to keep an eye on Delta because I want to watch them explode. I just like message Marlon. <laughs> I mean, Marlon's in my chat, so yeah. Oh, okay. I want to see them explode. Look. Oh, we just had a cord gunner get blown up. I, this tells me they're going to have to have their engineer on point because he does have a mine detector. I don't see an engineer in their squad. Okay, this got even more interesting. He's, oh, my God, it's cool back. Of course, yeah, they're, they're doing it. I want, to, I want to message Marlon. I want nothing more in the world. Uh, the BTR-80 Marlon. Alpha just got sniped. It did. There's no minefield here, it's lies. It's all lies. Oh, it's fine, they're, they're on the same team as them, so I can tell Marlon. There goes Alexander, oh, yeah. he takes multiple yeah, rounds to the head. 
Oh, it doesn't even matter. They got fucking annihilated. By I him. know. <laughs> oh. Oh, Marlon, as if I don't already know. <laughs> All right, so meanwhile, Op4 has been able to start getting on the trenches on the northern side. Most of Green 4 have pulled back. The reason that Green 4 has eyes on Delta moving in is because they pulled away and allowed Op4 to get on these positions. McDeed caught prone as Yanni Finn shooting at him from the entrenched yeah. areas. What was, I just heard mine go off. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it was Kvitsa. Marlon spawned it next to him. <laughs> yes. They deserve this. They, uh, Delta... Wait. Malin spawned this. nothing. It just went off. Oh, did he know? Oh. Was... Nah, it's a minefield, bro. Mines go off. All right, yeah, McDee just yeah, got picked yeah. off. Bravo is yeah. still on a weird Overwatch position all the way over to the east, which is kind of weird. Charlie pinning a full squad on their maneuver has been smart. And that's going to allow for Opfor to continue to put forces in the middle, but will it be enough? Well, Delta Red Four are just dumb. Like, there's really no other way to say it. They, they just got annihilated yeah. walking through some tiny little trees. So it's really going to be up to this one Op 4 team in Sector 3 to take it. They still have about 30 seconds remaining. Callback firing at Patriot. Patriot just running straight towards him. Yeah, now you're doing what I was doing, calling him Kermit instead of Kremit. It, it's Kremit. Yeah, it's Kremit. It's Kremit. I yeah, I didn't call him Kermit. No, I you called him Kremit. Yeah, it's Kremit. I, I said it right. No, I heard you say Kermit once. <laughs> All right. Regardless, um, there's objective three taken. Op 4 has got a pretty good hold in that trench line. They can then transition to the central trench line, but that's where the trench kind of runs out and they got a little bit of open ground that if Green 4 locks down, they'll be able to hold. Delta's still trying to push through this minefield. Uh, I think they're trying to now come around the southern side of it, but since Green 4 has been forced to pull back, Kremit is helping to lock down that position. You see Kremit just going to town with a little murder hole here. Meanwhile, looking at Op 4, most of Charlie to the south has been wiped. Bravo at this point just need to mount the BTR and charge the final area here to reinforce. Because they're shooting at... They're shooting at their friendlies in the trench line that was just taken. So why would there be enemies in a trench line that was just taken on the map? So Bravo's just being idiotic at this point. I don't know, Leary. Bravo, we've had a, we've had a bit of a mare here. Is Ash still alive for Bravo? Yes, he is, because they were he shooting is. at Ash in the, or like earlier in the mission. We got Iqbal trying to find a position to pick off people on that Green Force side. Zixmi gets engaged by the BTR yeah. on Overwatch and knocked out. But now it's entirely up for Op4 to push properly. Horvac, we can see in front of him there's a bit of blood, so he pushed up and got shot to shit. <coughs> Iander now trying to move up. And Green Force. are... They're kind of watching parts of this area. They're kind of not. So it's allowing for single op four to potentially push and trickle in. Now he's going to walk right up here to Captain Morgan. No, he's going to jump over the and get spotted by Captain Morgan. Morgan was out of ammo. Really surprising for me, Ander, there. There's the knockout. Climbed the wall for some reason when he could have just made his way around. Yeah, I don't know. That was a weird call. Looks like the rest of Op4 is starting to develop in from the sector to go into the other area. Bravo's mounted up in the BTR. They're pushing in. That's going to bring them an additional squad of infantry. They'll just dismount in the bunker and funnel in. With Op4 separated across these two sectors, that is giving, or excuse me, Green4 separated. That's giving Op4 the opportunity to defeat Green4 in detail here. And Charlie's down to a two, man. Yeah, they're doing decent for what they have, but it's a tough call. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If, if, where's Bravo? Oh, they're coming in now in, in the BTR. Okay, so 
this should really be the the tip of the scales here if Bravo learns who they're meant to be shooting. And the BTR immediately shoots at friendly. Because I have this and then the giveaway stream and then day Z back to back to back. So I don't have any time today. I'm sorry, honey. Have fun. Oh, yeah. Go. You can go. I, I gotta I gotta kick off this. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Blaine was asking if uh I could go out to dinner tonight with her parents, but we have this and then at six o'clock we've got the two and a half hour stream and then we have day Z immediately after, so I don't have room to do dinner tonight, unfortunately. I think timing-wise, this should be done in 20 minutes at most. We have Op4 starting to push in. The reinforcing infantry are also coming up. Sorry, babe. I've got to pretend to be Chris from Total Drama. Island, <laughs> Who has? Sorry, babe. I can't go out to dinner with your parents. I got to pretend to be Chris from Total Drama Island. That, <laughs> that's literally my life. That just sounds like such a meme. Dobbs gets walks up, gets hit by a grenade, goes down. Damien walks up, gets hit by a grenade, goes down. Sigus decides to walk away. Oh dear. Oh, I, I fucked him now, haven't I? Sigus Dobbs, I think up. he's about to get blown up. Yep. Great use of Op4, uh, Green 4 grenades there. And then you've got two Green 4 members coming around with the RPG 32. They're going to snipe the remaining BTR. You didn't see what just happened there. It was beautiful. Three. Individual Op fours walked up and got six. killed by three individual grenades. That's funny. RPG is coming in, disabling the final BTR. Second oh, shot misses no, no, no. from the RPG. Follow up shot kills one of the crewmen before he can use his overpowered, amazing AKS AK seventy four US with the skeletal stock. Ah! Pumpkin oh, King, thanks for twenty three month resub. You didn't miss pay for pain. We just haven't run it yet because we keep running into delays. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they don't want me there because I'd be too powerful. Ooh, speech or bro speech. I'll I'll add something for Daisy. All right. More AT coming in as Op4 trying to push in. Well, now I have to come. You can't you bro speak about me. I was there. No, that, that someone gave me 100 bits to re-add them. But again, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. Just give me some time. Grenade going right on top of Captain Morgan. That blows him away. He also takes some shots. AT comes in and noob tubes a guy. Green 4 might have this. Hold Charlie down to one man, and the last man's being shot at. It's not Delta pushing in. Depso coming around with that AT with that other guy. Managed to get a few knockouts. When Op4 tried to push up, they had multiple people get blown away. Depso I mean, you see the body Ray. stacked over here. Ray managed to get around the corner, but Gazak goes around right the exact same corner where he was just being Rosie's shot at. Rosie's speech. Depso's. Goddamn. Rosie's. I'll think about it. Brew woo. Brew woo. <laughs> Kramit trying to find a keyhole here on Kiri yeah. and Kavister coming up. Malin and Flying Finn trying to get into Do It Son's bunker as he holds with that M240. Knocks Finn out and he ends up ragdolled under. Yeah. Do It Son oh, no, gives He's some coming. double taps and Malin and him oh, trade. Jeez. Oh, but the sector technically being taken. Finn wakes back up his finger to do anything for Marlon. No, Thanks. She yells a building and it blows up and kills the person. That's unfortunate. Finn completely ignores Marlon's down body. Anyway. Lolo kills Ash. Yeah, we'll see the double tap. Yeah, poor Ash. So much friendly fire and then finally comes in and gets killed off. Lolo, they got the vehicle repaired and he's pushing in solo, so oh, that well. tells me that the gun is probably offline. Op 4 might be. Ooh, Kremit gets a nice corner camp kill. Op 4 is on 3, 6, uh, Green 4 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. If, if well, there's Lolo a 7th on Kremit, Charlie for Op 4. If Lolo and Kremit are running sector 2 now, they, they, they'd um, level out. In fact, Finn's just gone down. No, no, so that sector's been being capped for a while because it's been Finn and Malin. Yeah, yeah, no, but what I'm saying, if Lolo and Kremit run back in, it will now, actually, only one of them needs to run back in because Finn's gone down. No, it's already counting, dude. No, I, There's no, 10 seconds Kremit, left on sector 2. Yeah, Kremit and Lolo are on green full. True. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. But I don't think they're going to be able to. I think they're just going to, yeah. like, come around and no, yeah, pick no, people no. off. No. 
Ash woke back up. Ash woke back up and missed Lolo. Yeah, but Lolo's caught reloading. There's the hack done. Sony, thanks for seven month resub. Damn indeed. Hope you keep enjoying the ops. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Ash gets kill. He's a hero. Kremit heard the gunshots, but can Kremit, he's on three. Can he find an angle and pick off more op four to solidify green four's victory? Another RPG goes in on the BTR, and it's still kicking. And Kremit gets taken out. By Tomer, yep. Yeah, well, Green 4 on the rear have now been taken out. It's just up to the guys in the middle. Lolo is somehow still going. Oh, no, he got the gun working. That's funny. Ooh, he might through. not be able to lift the gun. No, I just saw him top it up. Okay, that's crazy. Oh, no, here comes Henry. Henry has got RP an RPG, but it must be out of ammo because he has a load of new tube into it. But Lolo's been blocked off by smoke now. But here comes Tomer. He's going to go off against Henry. Got banks on the edge here. Henry and Turner are going to walk right past each other, and this time it sees him now. I think Henry just saw the gun. Gets the first shot, but hesitates. And then Malin on a two story also spots him and takes him out. Yeah, they're just throwing nades at Lolo, but Lolo just sitting there. Oh, he's trying to put thermite on it, yep. Oh, that scares Lolo. Norris came in, he got knocked out in the trench line, getting double tapped by Tundian. Lolo trying to drive the vehicle up. Lolo gonna I died yelling for your Lord Commander. Nice one, Korvac. Is Lolo going to recreate the, the BTR on the other side? Razor, what do you mean by that? Uh, for the op, I mean, it'll just take two minutes because it's a small mod set for the thing in 27 minutes, so we should be but fine. You, know, you might you might be right, actually. His, his view might be um, broken because he's trying to, like, get as close as he can to the... Um, well, the, so I just checked his first person. His glass isn't damaged, so we can still see out of it. Yeah, I know, but his um, his um, abilities go up and down. I think you are right. I think Put yeah, the gun broken. around? Yeah. He's, he's trying to get like, really close. I think Kramich is just reconnecting to the server. Yeah, he is. Uh, and Tom and get he's dead. Oh, no. He's, oh, he's, no, he's EP. And he fooled. <laughs> I mean, this is still going to go either way. I feel like Op4 still has an opportunity to loot some grenades and really blow the crap out of this trench line, but Green 4 is oh, pretty yeah, well definitely. entrenched here. There's 28 minutes left, so oh, we'll see how things go. I think it went... I think I think Bravo coming back in was probably the key here because I think it just gave him more manpower to just throw people in. No spectate mode equals more viewers for Liru. Hell yeah. It just works. It just works. <laughs> <laughs> Little lies, stunning shows, people buy money flows. It just works. The pure spiracy. The conspiracy. Conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy. I love it. Is that just a conspiracy that's so insane that it might Lolo's be charging in. Oh no. He, they can't do anything to him. It's the funniest part. I'm waiting to see if he gets in the gunner and just starts shooting over their head or something. Oh, here comes Ash. Oh, my God. It's Ash. He throws a smoke. If that was a grenade, that would have been... Really that would have... It wouldn't have done any damage, but it was super close to being spot on. Oh, here he comes. May pick on a spot. Ash is trying to make pass. Oh, he's barricaded them. He's trying to get on the gun now. He's trying to adjust the gun so he can shoot down at him. He sees Snodgepair in front of him. I don't know if you noticed. Op4 pushing in because Lolo was distracting them with the BTR. Lolo gets out. He has the AKS 74U. No one notices. Ash comes over the top, takes someone out. It's. Oh, Meerkat gets him in the gun game because Smoke is client side. Uh, they're capping. Well, they will be, surely. It is It is capping. Yep, three, timer three, started, three, but someone gets blown up. Yep. However, Tomer's going to get behind the final garrison oh God, here. Grenade, they're playing oh. dead. Tomer, don't fall that. for it. Tomer, don't fall for it. Tomer. Tomer, no. Tomer. Tomer fell for it. 
But I haven't seen him. Oh no. Tomer! Oh, no. Oh my god, he, I've never seen people actually fall for that. But there you go. Wait, they're gonna cat. They're gonna cat because it's a three on uh, three on two now. And Roderick isn't waking back up soon. Marlon just has to get inside. Damn. 3v2, they are capping. But Ash has decided it's his turn to become. Ash just needs to grenade. Ash, no, Ash just needs to stay still. Oh, they're going back to, they're going back to eat. It was too quick. Too much done there. Here comes Marlon. That's one. Here comes Marlon on the side. I don't even notice. Malin's got it. Malin's got it. Back of the head, headshot, and snodge a pair. Malin has to be out of grenades. Murphy tries to push him. <laughs> Murphy playing dead, dead again, but that's not going to work. His head is... Malin knows that bullshit trick. Unless? Unless. No. Oh my God, no. Dead. No, but Murphy moves. Oh. Oh. Seven kills for Marlin. Wow. I'm going to be honest. If he didn't freaking move, he actually yeah. would have fooled Malin there. That's crazy. <laughs> Marlin would have thought you ran off. Because there's, there's bodies there right now. He probably would have thought, yeah, he ran. That's crazy. All right. Anyway, that is GG. Op4 have won that. It's because Rodrig is still alive. Uh, but I'm going to go prep for my thing. Again, top of the hour, we'll be giving away 24 Reaction Force CDLC. So thanks so much for watching. Go operate yeah, operationally. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers, and have a good one. Cheers, like boss, Chris. Nah, I'll do it for the scenario. All right, there's the official thing. All right, see you guys in 20. Yeah.